All right, hello everybody and welcome to our 16th episode of our Media Dump Podcast. This is the podcast where we talk about all the media we've consumed over the past two weeks. I'm Dom, this is Nick. Together we're... Nick and Dom. Yep. Um, What? just wanted to see what flavor it was. You can just read it. You don't got to smell it. Yeah, but I mean like... It could have been cantaloupe or whatever. Berries like... I mean like fruit punch and like red berries or fruit or, or like my favorite. I like the lemon head one. Fruit punch is my favorite flavor of like pretty much anything. True. I have like four bottles of tiki punch at home. Oh my god, it's so good. All right. It. Um. So usually we start off with a bunch of different. Um. What's it called? Board games. No. Uh. Topics. So the first topic we are going to talk about is board games. All right, so board games over the last two weeks. Nick, anything? I actually played a new game. Bought Carcassonne. I'm poor. What do you want from me? Jesus Christ, dude. No, I haven't bought Carcassonne, Jesus but I did play Christ. a new game. What'd you play? Um, I thought your microphone was backwards. Uh, Trial by Trolley. I've heard of yeah. It's a Cyanide and Happiness card game. I played it. It's, it's pretty fun. It's fun. We got it at work. I saw it at work. I saw it at work. Yeah, yeah. I played. Uh, Connie has it. I played her copy at her birthday party one day. Yeah, it's it's a pretty fun game. Uh, it's basically a um, this or that kind of card game. You set up two trails or trails, two uh, um, it's train card. tracks. It's all cards. Yeah. It's all cards with like jokes from Sign Out of Happiness. If you know what that is. Yeah. And there's two <laughs> paths, and you have to control which side your trolley is going to run over, and Two groups have to decide, um, or two groups have to play cards to make you choose the other track and run over the other group's uh, cards. So there's there's things like uh, incentives or, um, what's the? Oh, so we should probably so real quick. It's like a game based off of that a uh, moral question where it's like yeah, a yeah. train is going to run over five people. Or like one infant, or, or one, whatever the question is. The train's gonna run over five people or one people, and it's gonna run over. No, I think it's five random people or it? one five family random people member. or one family member, yeah. and you have to choose which one it's gonna run over. Um, and so that's like a philosophical question kind of yeah. thing. And this is a game basically based off of that, where it's yeah. like, do you want to run over a school bus full of kids or? Um, kittens on their way to adopt. Kittens on the way. <laughs> yeah, that's one a of bunch cards, of people yeah. who just got out of the hospital surviving cancer yeah or um the world's leading heart surgeon yeah stuff like that and you basically as the the conductor you choose which track to run over and it gives tokens to uh each team whether or not they've had cards die necessarily and once it goes around the table and everybody's gotten to be the conductor uh, you figure out how many of your cards survived, and that's the person who wins. But it's pretty fun because it gets hectic. Yeah. And you can't really, like, screw over anyone in particular because everyone gets a chance at the, at controlling where the trolley goes. How many people did you play with? Uh, Five. That sounds like fun. I think we played with, like, three. It was yeah. it was fun, but, like, I was like, this would be better. Like, this is like a party game. This would be better yeah, with, like, yeah. five, six people who are all into it. I think they said it's, like, three to six. Did we played it. Three to eight, something like that. Yeah. Like it doesn't really necessarily have a limit, but depending on it's like villainous, technically, like yeah, it doesn't have a limit. Like, how many can you play with? You can play with for a literally every one of them. Yeah, um, if you play with an odd number, it works best because it evens the teams out. Because there's always one person who's neutral, and then everyone else is on one team or the other. So we played with five, and uh, it seemed to be like the perfect number for us. And I think the game was only a half an hour. Yeah. Their mascot, second mascot, because the other one's right there. Hasbro doesn't count as a mascot. No, say hi, kind Nancy. Of a drifter. Say hi. Say hi, bitch. You were just meowing your ass off, and now you don't want to meow. This is Nancy Wheeler. She meowed. No, it's supposed to be Nancy Drew Wheeler. Because it's funny. uh. All right, anything else? Board game wise, no, not really. What are you gonna fucking buy, Carcassel? When I have, the if you money don't buy it all the way up until your birthday, I'll buy it for you for your birthday. I think I might just wait till my birthday, guys. That's in December. Nine in te- in eight months. 
I was like, it's 10. What are you talking about? Yeah. I went the wrong way. I, yeah. I, I, I wasn't nine. I was thinking yeah. March. And yeah. then I went the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, All right. Maybe I'll get it for myself for your birthday. <clears throat> That's my, that's my gift to That'd you. That'd be pretty funny. I get, I get carcass. But you would like, it's it's a gift, so you'll talk about it on the podcast. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, and like. I'm going to get it and I'm going to hate it. Watch. You, there's no way. Yeah. It seems like. I already know. You. It seems exactly the kind of game I want. All right. So played. Do you play any board games? Five. Seven plays of five games. Go on. So we had uh, another couple over. So we had like a couple game night. Lame. Gross. Uh, we played Coup a couple times, and Ugh. Skyla won one of those. And because she cheats. No, she didn't cheat. Um, and we played Band Words, and of course, me and Skyla won both of those games. <laughs> like we beat the shit out of it. Dude, it was hilarious. Austin, the the mm-hmm. my boy Austin. At one point, it, she was like. His wife, Connie, was like, uh, she's trying to get him to guess jam, mm-hmm. and but she got him to guess jelly, and she's like opposite of jelly, or like or like the same, not the opposite, but like the same as jelly, and he goes, goo? <laughs> goo? What? <laughs> I was like, that was the, I started dying, I was like, that was the funniest <laughs> shit. He goes, Goo? Imagine if you had goo as one of your band words. God, that was so funny, dude. It's like Damn. James, like, oh shit. Oh, uh, dude, I'll always remember that. He goes, Goo? Yeah. Uh, we won both of those. Oh, I bet. Um, and then just me and Sky to play just a normal game of Pandemic mm-hmm. on normal mode, just me and her. Mm-hmm. It was, it was a blast. Just normal, yeah. so, dude. Normal pandemic still fucking awesome. Have you finished all your escape room things? No. How many do you have left? Because you said you were going through the advent calendar. We we still haven't finished that. <laughs> uh, it's just a lot. Like we're like, oh, we could play advent calendar, which we do want to play, um, or we could like talk and watch an episode of TV. Ah, got it. Bonding time. Yeah, so we have to finish Advent Calendar, and then there's four more Escape Room games to go through. How many left on the Advent Calendar? There's 24, well, yeah, and we've done 16. You're killing me, kid. We do four. We do times of we do it four four rooms mm-hmm. in one go instead mm-hmm. of one a day because we literally can't. Yeah. Um. Well, how many rooms are in one? It's 24. Oh, I, I thought you meant like each one. No, it's like a punch out. It's okay. like Advent. You know what Advent Calendar is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a punch out. Okay. And a little thing you open, then you do an, esca- an escape room. Okay. Um, it's just a little puzzle, and we do f- four. We do it four, mm-hmm. and um, we done it four times. We got two more times. Okay. We just haven't done it. It's made. We we bought it, uh, December. Yeah. But those kinds of things, like if it's have, something that we just don't have a lot of time together. So yeah. If it's something that takes like consistency, it's a little hard to do. Yeah, especially with your guys' schedule. But it makes sense. Our schedule's so terrible. Yeah, I just want you to do that case file so I can get it back. We will definitely play it eventually. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and take a week vacation in June. Nice. So we'll definitely play it then. I gotta wait till June. I might as well just buy another one. I'm not gonna play this one again. No, buy another copy because oh. I have other people to loan those things. Or out you to. could buy Carcassonne. That's twenty bucks. Carcassonne is not. It was only like sixty. Yeah, you know how many case files that is? Three. Yeah. Um, and then me and like my wife, hours. and me nah, and my wife, and mm-hmm. you know how many hours it is for me. What? Less than three. To do the case files? Oh, I thought you meant to buy it. No, I meant the case files. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you meant, you're they like, I gotta work. They take like roughly like five to six hours to. You're like, I gotta work 18 hours to buy it. I was like, that's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, that's not enough money. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half. I was like, you know, it's <laughs> like. For case files. Yeah. Uh, 
And then and then for normal game night, which we have every other Monday with me and my wa- my wife, my wife, and f- our boys Flynn and Skyler. Um, we played Catan Cities and Nights again, and code names Catan Cities and Nights took hella long again. Um, for no reason. I mm. like it, but now that we played it twice, mm-hmm. me and Skyler were like, probably best to just play it at three and not oh, four. Yeah. Four. I think it just took way too long. What is she breaking? I don't know. Let her go. Okay. Um, see, what I think about Katana is I thought about this like it's like I think with four people, mm-hmm. um, it's like so with four people, I like it better. Okay. So You'll get there. with four people, it's a better game mm-hmm. for three of those people. Yeah, one person just gets. Stuck. But it's a bad game for that. It's a better game for three of those people than if they had just played a three-person game. Mm-hmm. But that fourth person mm-hmm. in that four-player game gets shit on. Yeah, I mean that makes sense though. Um, this game was actually really pretty even. Um, I was actually kind of getting shit on um, again. Uh, it's because I had a whole my entire strategy was to use a wheat port. Mm-hmm. Um and. Uh. Flynn placed right after me and he took the wheat port. So I was like, okay, so my entire strategy is out the window. And if I'd gotten that wheat port, I would have won way I earlier. Mean, I got yeah. hella wheat. <laughs> yeah. I had so much wheat. Um, if I had that earlier, then I literally, I was like, if I didn't order out of one, everybody at the table was like, yeah, you would have won. You gotten so much yeah. fucking wheat. You would have won with that wheat port. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. So I do like Catan Cities and Nights. Mm-hmm. I feel like if like us three played it, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be nearly as long. It'd only be like yeah. two hours, two and a half, or something like that. Yeah, which is like a normal game of Seafarers, four players takes like that long, anyways. Well, it's like the same with uh, Terraforming Mars. Where it's like adding one player just adds so much more on top of the. It's like that three game. two players is like a two and a half hour game. Three players is like a three hour game. Four players is like a four and a half hour game. Depending on your players, yeah, it adds like four a to whole, five. Yeah, depending on yeah. Especially if one of those is Flynn. Yeah, because I remember we played with Flynn and we had to just like start speeding things up because it just felt like every turn was taking so much longer. You know, I think it's just the fact that it is four players because yeah. each of them has to, to think through what they're going to do. And nobody really thinks through it at the same time. Yeah. Flynn does have an AP problem, but he's a uh, he's working on it and he's actually actively getting better. Yeah, no, I mean, it makes sense. Um, you know, which I've noticed, I've noticed Flynn, I've noticed, I know he's going to watch this. He's actively getting better at, and he's getting actively like focusing and actually actively getting better on like Mm -hmm. not alpha gaming Mm -hmm. or, um, I mean, I like, I'm not shitting on him or anything. Um, or I'm interrupting people. So he's actually, so that's like a thing that like, you know, you can work on yourself. Yeah. I've been trying to be less of a dick in board games. Skylar keeps getting mad at me for being a dick. Um, No, I get it. And I feel like I've been, I feel like I've been less of a dick. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. Like like I said, I'm not like shitting on them or anything. Nobody wants to play a board game to lose. You know, everybody wants yeah. to win. You know, and if it's a method that works, you know, why why change that method? You know. Well, it didn't work. Skyler won. <laughs> I mean that that probably tracks. Yeah. Um, but Flynn almost won. He was so close. Yeah. <clears throat> I wasn't gonna win. I was. I could have won. Yeah, I mean. I could have won. Run it back. Uh, but I think, I think like, I don't know if I'll, I'm not saying never, but like, I, I think I'll rather, definitely rather play it at three. Mm-hmm. Like when Nathan and Coral are going to visit and yeah. like, maybe we'll play it. I can see us playing that yeah. at four people, but I think I'd rather just play. I think I'd rather just play it at three. I think three would be so much faster. Now, Catan has so many expansions. Are there any expansions that work together or can you only play? Yeah, you like- can play Seafarers and Cities and Nights. Okay. But only some because I know seafarers scenarios because yeah. uh, some of the seafarer scenarios are very very particular. Yeah, how they have to be set up and how they have to be set up. Now I was just curious because I know Cities and Nights doesn't really add anything to the board. It's more like yeah, it's, cards a, norm, and it's a normal board. It's kind of yeah. interesting. I thought it would add something, but it's literally just upgra- city upgrades. So what do you think are the ones that you could pro- like? If you had to mash as many expansions in, how, how many do you think you can fit? Like three, maybe. I think you could do all four. Really? Um, because I think um, Seafarers is the only one that actually adds tiles, right? I don't know. 
Or at least add scenarios that use like unique setups. I don't know. I don't really know. You I, don't have, re- I don't remember. Do you have them all or are no, you missing one? No, we only have two. There's four. Okay. I, you don't have, what is it, traitors? Traitors and barbarians, and then the next one is pirate. I thought pirates was part of seafarers. No, it's pirates like is in the name of the thing. Oh, okay. Well, the next one is, what did we just say? Traitors and barbarians. Traitors and barbarians, that's the next one, which we're going to get. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't think that's going to add any scenarios or situations where it's adding tiles or unique mechanics. I think it's going to be a lot like uh, Cities and Nights. Explorers and Pirates is the fourth one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that one's probably... It doesn't seem like it I would don't add remember. a bunch. I don't remember. But, yeah, I think Seafair is probably the only one that adds extra stuff. Yeah. And then we also played... Uh, we also played Code Names. That's just like a normal game of Code Names. Yeah. But it was, it was fun. I think me and... Flynn were on a team. We won the first round. Ra- I didn't write down who won. Mm-hmm. It's because we won the first round. Mm-hmm. And then we played a second round. And then Flynn like had to go. We kind of played a speed round. And we kind of just said like whatever. Or yeah. I don't remember what happened. I just I guess maybe one of them will remember. Hey, write down in the comments what happened so I can put it down on my app. Get in the comments. I mean, there's a winner in most. There's a cat on my foot. Oh, I didn't put winners in the... Oh, whatever. Some of the... So I write down all the plays, but sometimes I don't put in winners um, because... Yeah. Especially if it's a party game, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I kind of want to keep track of um, a normal a normal game. Mm-hmm. But if it's a party game, it's who it, who cares who wins, you know? Yeah, I mean that makes it's sense. It's about having fun. But a normal game, it's like strategy going head to head. Well, it's like on your like on your birthday when we play board games. Like nobody's really keeping track of who wins that. It's fun to like, oh, I won two games of Werewolf, but like, yeah, but it's, it's not what, a competition. It's, it's just, just it's, like it's just for yeah. fun. Yeah. By the way, it's coming up. I mean, honestly, it's one of the things I look forward to is playing werewolves with, like, 13 people. But you didn't play. You just, like, watching. I Well, I've played before. It's just when you have that many people, so many people start making mistakes. Here's what I'm going to do. I, I got to do this. This is part of board games. This counts as board games. Okay. Mm-hmm. Werewolves is a board game. Yeah. Um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to print out oh, the smart, rules. Smart, smart, smart. Also, do, like, an order. An or, and yeah. print out. I'm going to print out, like, a double page thing mm-hmm. um, of like extra, like bigger paper and then I'm going to go get that laminated. Uh, bring it to the church. I'll laminate for you. Like we got the full, oh, we got a full scale laminate. All right, but I don't have to pay yeah. for it. We just got to warm it up. All right. And I'm going to get like, th- I, I don't need a shitload, but maybe like three of them. Yeah, that's fine. Three or four of them. People can pass them around. Yeah. And then I'll be like, okay, if you want to play werewolf and then be like, maybe I'll write out like rules of like, what, if you're going to play werewolves, like mm-hmm. actually play it. Um, if you're not going to play werewolves, Go stand somewhere else or something, because like, yeah, because sometimes when somebody's standing over, like two giggling. two years ago, we tried to play it, yeah, and like a couple people aren't playing, they're just watching, but like yeah. the problem is they're talking to the people or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's like funny thing, and then a couple people are like not, or somebody would be like, well, how do you know that? And they're not playing the game, yeah, like, and then a couple well, people like give aren't, away. and then some people like have no idea what's going on with the rules or whatever, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I just explained it, <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, I. I feel like I can teach sometimes if I'm in the right mood, I can teach a board game really well. Yeah. Um, but it's also with like when I was a manager is like, I tell people, I'm mm-hmm. like, here's how you do this. Yeah. And they'll be like, what? Like I literally just <laughs> fucking told you how to do it. Yeah. Like with the board game, I'm like, okay, so you can do this or this. They're like, I don't understand. I'm like, I literally just told you. Yeah. You can go left or right. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. it, like, as a manager, I'm like, okay, so you can do this or this. Yeah. And they're like, what? I'm like, I just told you. Yeah. Here's what I would tell them. I'd be like, I'd be like, if I've, I've told you this, I remember specifically Justin, that's my boy. I'd mm-hmm. say he's my number two hoe. <laughs> the joke is we were gay for each other. It was like, uh, yeah, go on. Um, I was like, this is the fourth time I'm telling you this. Yeah. If I have to tell you a fifth time, <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. I was yeah. like, that's not on me. That's on you. Yeah. If I have to tell you fourth time, you're fucking stupid as shit. Okay. But that's my boy. Haven't nice. talked to him, but still send him, so we still send uh, memes and some TikToks. But, I mean, that's that's nice. That's talking. That's friendship. That's, that's talking. friendship in yeah. twenty yeah. twenty twenty three. That's friendship. And then you send back an LOL sometimes, but you don't actually you forget who. You yeah, there's like a couple. Thing. Yeah, I got a friend like uh, I got a friend named Ben. I haven't seen in two years. Yeah, but just six days ago, we sent each. Other, I sent him a TikTok, <laughs> and he sent me a TikTok like uh. A month ago, <laughs> you know, haven't talked to him in two years. Haven't seen him in two years. Um. Oh, last thing, I forgot to write this down. I guess I'll try and go quickly. Me and Skyler played. Yeah. War of the Ring. All right, moving on. 
how'd that go? <laughs> um, I played the good guys. He played the bad guys, which you ha- I was like, you have to play the bad guys. <laughs> Trust me. We talked about this in a, a couple weeks ago yeah. where my brother played the good guys and he was like, not, he was like, it, it is too hard. Yeah. You have to play the bad guys first. It's, you just have to. It's easier to grasp because there's yeah. less to do. I played a good. Yeah. I played a really good game. Um, You've also played the good guys more though. Yeah, but it's also so, harder to win as a good guy. Yeah, but if you're playing against somebody who's never played, Here, playing the bad guys. Hopefully, I remember to put this in. Skyler legit rolled this. I think you sent me that. He rolled no, five no. swords in a row <laughs> that he rolled like five character movements. And I think in one of, one of those, he was like, okay, I literally can't do anything with this die, so I'll throw it away. <laughs> you sent me one, and it was... I think it was either against your brother or... It was against my brother. They, I showed you I showed you it um, two weeks ago, and I said I was going to put it in if I remembered, and I didn't remember. Okay. It wasn't on Facebook. I think I just showed it to you in person okay. on this podcast. Yeah. But uh, it, it makes sense. Like Games that come down to that much luck, I'm not a fan of. Because you can do everything right. I sent it to, I sent it to my brother. I said... Or to my other brother. Yeah. I said, I think he's fucked because I rolled eight. <laughs> <laughs> I had eight dice and he had four and I did yeah. so much shit on that move. Yeah. <laughs> on that too. But that's um, the thing. Like when you, <laughs> when even if you play correct, like absolutely correctly, perfect strategy, which is hard, but as perfect as you can get doing everything right and the dice fuck you, the game isn't fun. That's, but here's my thing is that's every game. It's not every game. Every game with dice, every game with cards. Maybe. But you like, could play. Um, well, it's like Monopoly. You could play a game of Magic. Oh yeah, yeah. And draw a seven lands. Game. Yeah. And then draw five more lands in a row. That's possible. Yeah. It's a you know it's, it's that doesn't mean it's a zero. bad game. No, but That's there's just also randomness. ways to mitigate that. And you can mitigate in a game with dice rolls is you have to do other strategies. That's the thing. It's like you're no longer focusing on the game. I know, that's you're focusing ju- on beating the dice. That's just my thing. Is my thing is whenever people say that, I'm, a, I'm a, I always think the same thing. Is I'm like that's every game with dice and every game with cards. Like Pandemic's a great game, but you could literally die on the second turn. Yeah, you could draw the a worst. Pandemic and a th- it like you can literally cascade until you die. Yeah, on the second turn doesn't mean it's a yeah. bad game. Okay. Yeah. And I've had turns games of Pandemic where it's like draw three cards in a row. It's like oh we lost. Well, it's the same We're like with about like, to win, draw, we lose. It's the same with like risk. Like you can play for five hours, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, somebody comes through and just keeps rolling for an hour and doesn't stop. Special K, and just doesn't stop. Like just keep. It's like there's no choice to. The only way you stop that game is just walk away from the table. Like the dice literally will screw you over. And yeah, you can say it's like that doesn't happen every time, or it's like oh that's pretty rare. It still happens, you know? You're just as likely to lose in the first turn or second turn as you are to, like, never get, you know, anywhere in the game specifically. Like, it's just too much to chance, especially if you're rolling multiple dice. Any game you're rolling more than, like, two or three, it's just too much to chance. Because you don't really get... You you never get what you're looking for when the dice screw you that bad. I don't know. I just never... I just... I just always think the same is I'm like, well, Catan and Pandemic are two of the best selling games of all time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Pandemic is completely random on the cards you draw, and Catan is completely random on the dice you throw. Yeah. And Catan's like literally one of the best selling games of all time, one of the most popular games of all time. Um, It's probably the most popular hobby board game of all time. Yeah. No, I mean, it It came out in 1985, and it's still coming out today and still being played today. (laughs) Oh, it's probably like the Tetris of board games. Yeah, like. yeah, the, hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, or 1995, sorry. Um, and but still, you know. Yeah, and uh, but I've had games of that where it'll be 16 like turns in a row, and yeah. I didn't get a single thing from any of the dice. I get that part, and so that can happen. So it's like I can't complain about War of the Rings mm-hmm. bad dice rolls when I play Catan, and I still love Catan, and I'll play it any day of the week, but. I've had turned 16 turns in a row. I haven't gotten any dice in 10 minutes. I haven't gotten a single card in 10 minutes, and that's happened before. But there's other things, like other parts of the game that will 
that you can do. Like if you get bad dice rolls, yes, you're not getting anything, but you can still trade with other people. You could try to trade with other people. Yeah, I mean, yes, you can try. It's other people, you know. But it's also like you're not the one I'm gonna rolling. Keep, I'm going to keep facing you. You're like in Catan, everybody else is rolling as well. So only part of it is your fault and part of it's the dice's fault because everybody's rolling differently. If it's something like uh, Lord of the Rings, it's always you. You're the only one rolling your dice. So if the dice keep screwing you over, there's nothing you can do differently, you know? That's the only reason why I wasn't a fan of it. Like, everything was going fine, and then the dice just turned against me, and there was nothing I could really do. Now, I didn't play a perfect game, obviously. Yeah. But still, like, <coughs> there's no attempt to recover in that game if you start falling behind. You have to wait for somebody else to make a mistake. You can... The bad guys can recover. The good guys, it's... You're not going to recover. Yeah, yeah. Bad guys, you can recover because you can just get all... You can just wait and get all your troops back. True, because there's... They have technically like an unlimited amount of troops, don't they? Yeah, so like you you can Well, they, well, I, if you remember unlimited. what I remember I tell people this, I warned other people I play w- with this is that what you did is um is that you got out all your troops yeah. immediately. I remember you got all your troops in Mordor and then you couldn't get the out and them, move out move, and do yeah. stuff and then I attacked other places and you're like, "Oh, I don't have troops to go defend that." Yeah. You're like, so, I literally can't do anything. And you yeah. were you were getting bad dice rolls, but still that I remember that happened to you and I warned I've told other people I'd like warned them like Yeah. yeah. Like I said, don't I didn't do play that. A this happened game. to Nick and he like yeah. and then he lost because he put out too many troops. So that, Yeah. My idea was to like control Mordor and then work towards like the middle of the map. But just how sporadically things started happening. I couldn't shift around from the middle fast enough. And then I just started losing like key positions. And then the dice just, you know, stopped working for me, you know? And from there, it just felt like I was just prolonging a losing battle, you know? But I think um, the turning point was, like, when I wa- when I lost the Witch King. Because I think I lose a dice on that. Yeah, you fucked up. And then... Because like I, d- atta- I didn't realize where he was. You, like, a- attacked with him or I something? attacked with a... I attacked from a spot he was in and I didn't realize and you I think you rolled like four or five dice because I think you already had Gandalf out and I think you rolled four dice and just wiped out everything that was there and I couldn't move him so I got boned there and then it just kind of collapsed after that I, I mean it's not like I said it's not a bad game it's still I mean I'm, I just don't like it yeah so it's just it's just like a war game like yeah. you're just probably just not a fan of war games I'm okay with war games it's just like I said it's well, just whatever depends. name another war game before I, well Risk was fine only yeah, but you. you said I you just hated. said I would never play with Chris. That was it. Chris took an hour long turn once. Yeah, no joke. We played for six hours. We started at six o'clock and we stopped at midnight. And everybody's like, "We're done," and he's like, "Hold on, I'm still going." He took an hour turn. An hour was him as his rolling dice. Yeah, for an hour. So we all just like gave and up. And Joe died at like an hour and a half in, and sat there for five hours yeah. watching <laughs> Chris play. It got to the point where we were like, let's just kill him. Like, everybody team up on him. And that still didn't even work. We were like, we're done. Well, I haven't seen him in like three years, so. Yeah, so he might be dead to us. He, well, I mean, he is dead to us. He's but dead. He, might he be is dead. dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he didn't come to the wedding. Oh, I got to work. I was like, don't work. Skip a day. Be sick. Go get COVID. What do you mean? You got to do people. Better. Other people came. Yeah. Who had work? I took a week off. You took a week off. Now it's video games. <laughs> so, Yeah. And we're all with board games. All right. What video games have you been playing? Because I started with board games. Go ahead. I played through all of the second act of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Yay. Got Midas back. Spoiler. Um, Shame. So anticlimactic. Oh, yeah? It was like, oh, he's back. Hey, buddy. It's like, how you been? I'm back. Yeah. Oh. Like, he just... Where's Weaver? He's dead. Oh. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you later. It's like you took That's literally r- what happened. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for you. I went on like this whole last mission. I killed like thousands of people and I got to save you just to save you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm going uh, I'm to just go for a swim. Yeah, but bye. Yeah. Uh, I think that was honestly like where I stopped playing the game. I, I want to like, keep, dude, I want to so keep playing dumb. it. It's fun now. Oh, yeah. When it came out, it was not the controls are so fucking terrible. But it's been yeah. updated so much, it's like fun. They fun completely now. rehauled that game. 
and I want to keep playing. Like I want to play other games, but I also want to. It's also like fun to just get in a helicopter and I was just going to a spot, getting and a, just and get just out, like, just mark everybody. <coughs> and so like I want to keep playing it, and yeah. just like mindlessly get collectibles. But I also got so many other games to play. Yeah. I play like every like two days. I go and I play one level of Sonic Forces. Yeah. And then I put it down. Yeah. I mean, it's I like so, it's like all the levels are so short and easy. Yeah. Um, I want. I didn't realize I didn't get it when it was a plus game, and it's kind of upsetting because I wanted it. It's fun. I mean, it's just mindless Sonic. It's just like do 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 do. It's it's a Sonic game, you know. Yeah, I played like two levels in a row, and I was like bored. I was like, <laughs> I just want to play one level like a day or one level every other day. Yeah. <laughs> like like I don't want or no I, yeah, and I was like yeah, I don't want to do two fixed. levels in a row. I was like, yeah. one level it takes like five minutes. That and the um, uh, the racing game. With the hoverboards, I don't know if you ever played it. That game was incredibly fun, but playing more than like one or two races, it just got so draining. Yeah, like there was a Sonic racing game on Plus. Oh yeah, the kart racing game, and it was like that was fun. Like in one level, and I'm like, and I'm done. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I got like stuck on a level. Like I was like, oh boy, I was like, I was had to like rely on my like my like AI teammates. And I stopped playing that. And there was another racing game, Hot Wheels racing game, Mm -hmm. PS Plus game. And I liked playing that. And I could play multiple games of that in a row. But the problem was it would literally take like five minutes from starting it up, going through 10 different fucking menus, going to the level, picking a level, playing the mission. Mm -hmm. And then like I have to get first. Yeah. And it's like it literally took so long to load into a level that I just don't want to play it anymore. Nah, I get it. I don't know if you, you do you ever start up that one? No, I didn't. I didn't play that one, hey, dude. It literally, I'm not kidding. Like, it will take like multiple minutes. To just I, get I have it. I just never played it. Like sometimes goes like a couple of times. I haven't taken out Ghost Recon because it takes a little bit to get into mm-hmm. a mission to into the level. And then once you get in the level, you have to fast travel somewhere. And yeah. I like did that. And I haven't played that specifically because it takes a little bit. And yeah. and this Hot Wheels game takes longer than that. Yeah, there was times where it's like I don't understand. It I would so long. I would get into the game and it would be loading for like like five minutes give or take and then i realized i loaded in at the last spot i was standing at and the mission's like halfway across the island i was like let me fast travel to the closest spot waste another five minutes and at that point it's like "Eh, i kind of don't want to play the game yeah that's i call it like i'm just like but if i like if i have a short amount of time i Mm kind of don't want to play ghost recon breakpoint if i have like three hours hours, yeah three hours then i'm like oh i'll play ghost recon i'll play breakpoint i can get some things done yeah so i don't know like i feel like so I play other games. Mm-hmm. I should delete it off my PlayStation. Yeah. But I also kind of want to. I kind of want to just yeah. play some. My, because like I'm not going to. If I want to 100, percent I'm not going to play another game for a fucking. It took me this long to play this. I'm not going to play another game for a year. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna hop yeah. in and just go collect stuff, and I'm not going to get the platinum. Yeah, that's way too crazy. So I'm like, do I even want to get all the collectibles, or do I just like mindlessly? You just want to play the missions and finish that. That's honestly like all the missions. I did all the missions. There's a bunch of side missions, but a lot of those are like fucking nothing. Like it's like, what is yeah. the point of this? It's just like flavor for the rest of the game. Yeah, but it's like I'm like, why would I? I'll just play a main mission. That's what I liked about the first one. That kind of like fell off in the second one. Like it felt like every mission you did, whether it was a side mission or not, you were making progress to the goal of the area. So you could do I think like four missions in an area that had eight or nine, and at that fourth mission, you could take on the boss of that area or whoever's in control. Wildlands is so good, dude. It I is. I fucking love it Wildlands. Is. And as soon as you took that out, it's like, okay, there's still a few things you can do here to kind of like totally take control of this area. Or you can move on to the next one because it's like just destabilized enough to where it's not a hassle anymore. And even then I was like, I kind of want to, <laughs> you know, I want to just destroy everything here because it's that fun. They, they kind of dropped off a little bit for the second game. It's like too big. It's like it takes. It's too big. You know, it takes it's, too long to get somewhere. Yeah. It's, stu- it's stupidly big. Yeah. Some games are just like you shouldn't be that big. It's dumb. Well, it's also a lot of like forest and stuff. So. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's fucking why you don't need to be that big. Yeah. In the first game, you could just jump in a truck and drive from one section hey. to the other without hitting a tree. And this, I think, you can go like twenty feet without hitting a tree on a road. Motorcycles are still impossible to use in that game. I don't understand. Just make a <laughs> motorcycle. Just, I would just want to ride a motorcycle. Yeah. Why do games got it? Like I'm playing GTA Five. And I'm oh, like, no, that's Chris. Perfect. And then, but I'm going like too fast. And then I'm like, and then off. I crash. And I'm like, well, I, I just want to ride a motorcycle. Yeah. Well, I just want to ride a motorcycle. Just don't crash. Get good. Why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> just get good. 
Um, just learn how to ride a motorcycle better. Here's what I was thinking. Not a tangent, but this is based on video games. Yeah. Uh, is I was thinking about like, because the main board game YouTube channel I watch called mm-hmm. uh, the, the, the Dice Tower. They're like the biggest. Yeah, I haven't game, heard of them. Board game. Okay, name one board game YouTuber. Will Wheaton. You said YouTuber, not channel. <laughs> I don't want to give you the satisfaction. I couldn't see your hand. It was no, behind the microphone. So I, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and they did their top 10 favorite video games of all time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it was just like nice to see. Was like Breakpoint like two? No, Skyrim was oh, up there. Course, Fallout 3 was Ugh. up there. And so like four out of the 10 are Bethesda games. Yeah. I mean, they're great games. Don't get me wrong. I fucking love them. <clears throat> but like, come on guys. Um, and then, but then I was thinking, I was like, Oh man. I was like, I wonder if my, uh, b- like favorite b- YouTube, mm-hmm. uh, God damn it. Favorite <laughs> video game list would be like updated now. And then I was thinking, I was like, I guess probably like not because you're playing the same to games. be my favorite to be like a favorite, like top five, top mm-hmm. ten, maybe a game could break in the top ten. Okay, to be like a top five board game, favorite board mm-hmm. game, I'd, I'd video game, I'd have to play it multiple times. Yeah, and I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna play games multiple times. Yeah, nothing like a st- storyboard. I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play a story game multiple times nowadays. Yeah, if it doesn't have like a multiplayer, I generally only play the story once. But even yeah. now, like so, I've but, played, but it's like if it's your favorite bo- video game. You're gonna play through it at least once, yeah. at least two times, right? Yeah. Like, so I was thinking, I was like, I don't know if a game, if a story mode game, will ever pop into my top five because I have to play through it multiple times. Oh, I got like one or two off the bat, like top five. It hasn't changed in like ten years, though. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, have, yeah. have a, a new a new game that just comes out, probably not. Like no. a game I I've played a game in the past ten years breaking my top five. Yeah. Probably, I don't think so. Yeah. At least on the past f- five years, three, four f- years, something like that. Yeah, probably since like, honestly, yeah, like nine, ten years, like 2014, 2013. Like all your favorite games, are you like top five or probably like way back Oh yeah. in PlayStation 3, like all my own. Oh, life. yeah. So that's just what I was thinking. It was like, hmm. It, yeah, it, I mean, it makes sense. They, a lot of games that are coming out now, they're they're focusing on more um, like multiplayer aspects of of games if it doesn't have a multiplayer they know that the story is only going to get played once or twice so they'll lack in certain things just to make sure that the story kind of yeah. works i guess or it's way too fucking long of a story i'm okay with a long i'd rather have a game that's you know 16 hours than a game that's four hours because that frustrates the shit no out dude me. i'm talking about 50 plus hours well i'm thinking like god of war like god of war was like okay 18 I was th- hours. i'm thinking like assassin's creed odyssey I I could see Assassin's Creed, but I'm not replaying Assassin's yeah, Creed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, but like that's I'll not play gonna... it once, and if I complete that game, I never touch that game again. Like that's just yeah. how it is. Yeah, but it's like if it's your favorite, you're gonna play it a second time. Maybe, yeah, or just know that I'm gonna come back to it, so I won't complete it. This is what I think. Um, yeah. and then the other thing I've been playing is uh, Modern Warfare multiplayer. Yeah, Over there it is. Um, fuck that game, dude. Yo, I'm 68% of the way through the battle pass already. <laughs> this, uh, I think I, I played it. Yeah, I was texting friend, him 50 days and left. I was like, I think, <laughs> and I was playing it, um, right when the new season came out mm-hmm. and I was like, this is the worst I've ever seen Call of Duty in my life, dude. I was playing on a normal, like a small size map. It was a normal map mm-hmm. and it was like the domination mm-hmm. and I died. I thought it was hard point. I, multiple games talking okay, about a different okay, one. Okay. Okay. And it was just domination. Uh huh. And we lost like twenty to two hundred. Oh me! And I died yeah, like ahead. eighty times, uh, and I got like four kills. And I was like, "This is the worst experience I've had in my fucking life." And I was like, "I should leave yeah, this game." Yeah. And I was like, "I'm just not gonna play this. If it's on a small map, I'm not playing it." So I'm not, I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna leave in the middle of the game. Story time. Uh, I haven't played since. Other than last night, I hadn't played since probably Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. And uh, me and Gary hopped on. And I was like, let me knock the rest off. We'll play like two or three matches before we like really get sweaty in this game. We had a game on shipment. It was a uh, hard point. I think the final score was 250 to 18. We just destroyed them. <laughs> it 
It was so good bad. Good for you. Congratulations, Nick. I know. Good I'll, for you. The other people, like the the other team absolutely felt like you did. Because there was like a handful of yeah, people. Yeah, I'm like, why like am I playing this? Seven and 49 deaths. Why am now. I playing this? I'll play something else. I felt bad because it's like, that was a great game for me. But I know some people are probably breaking a controller right now. Yeah, I played for like, literally I played for two hours. Yeah. With one gun. Yeah. And leveled it up like two and a half times. Oh, buddy. Not we for gotta, two. I played for one hour. Sorry. I played for one work. full hour straight with one gun, mm-hmm. and I leveled it up two and a half times, and I only used that one gun. This is the most I've played Call of Duty since and I was Black like, Ops 3. This is stupid. I was like, this is stupid. I'm never going to level up these guns, dude. I'm never going to level up any of these fucking guns. Yeah. It takes so fucking long. I'll help you out. We'll work on it. No. It's great. Absolutely not. It's great. I'll drag you into shipment. There's a 24-hour shipment playlist right now. And it's double XP weekend. Let's jump on it. No, we'll play after. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. You want to play it tonight? I'm going to go home and play it. Let's play it. I should probably clean my apartment, but I'm not going to. I have till Wednesday. All right. Let's play some tonight. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm going to jump on and probably play like four hours. Because I have nothing else to do. I don't know if I want to play for four hours. Oh, I got I to gotta milk that double XP. I don't know. I- <laughs> Depends on how much if I'm having some good games. Yeah, I was we'll, like planning, we'll like I was like, oh, I want to get through some, I want to do yeah. some, play yeah. some stuff, play something, yeah. Oh, uh, because my wife's my wife not here. My wife, she's not gonna be here tonight. So all the video games, I'm gonna stay up hella late playing video games like I did last night. But I played Breakpoint last night. Um, okay, okay. Uh, uh that's on. all I've been playing. Nick, what have you been playing? <laughs> Uh, honestly, just any time that I'm not at home, I'm playing Monster Hunter, just because it's such a fun game. Um, I'm trying to get other people in this uh, group chat that I'm in to play, because there's like 200 people in there. Me. What? What? what are yeah. you talking about? It's on Discord. So it's like a server. That's not a group chat, that's a Discord. It, well, because there's obviously like different... I don't know. I know rooms, that's the, rooms, that's different. Whatever. You're like a group chat. I was like, no, what do you no, mean well, a group? Like you're on Facebook, two hundred <laughs> people. So like, no, what no, no, no. About? So you're not like um, Discord will have like separate chat rooms. God damn it! What's up? The Kings lost. Oh no! By one point. Oh no! Does that mean it's two and two? Yes. Does that mean they have to win the next game? Next game's at home. So no, Warriors they gotta win two Warriors games. Warriors can't right? win at home. They gotta win two games, right? You have to win, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, they got to win two more to to beat them out. So now it's home away home. So it's going to go seven games because every home team every home, home team is just going to win every game. That's what some people were thinking. Um, it's just every home team is going to win every game. <laughs> hey, I'm okay with it, dude. Speaking. We took the defending champs mm-hmm. and beat them. Back to back. And beat them two games in the playoffs. Even if they win the next two, it's yeah. like after 17 years, they're not going to the playoffs. Yeah. And the Kings are shooting worse in the playoffs than they have all year. Yeah. Um, it's that's also fine. the stress and the that's pressure. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. And it's this first time in the playoffs, you know. You're not taking it away from them. Most yeah. of these people, first time in the playoffs, um, they like they had two players shoot 203. We're on sports now. Sorry. We're two players shoot, shot 200 threes. Mm-hmm. First time ever. Yeah. Uh, and one of them is a rookie. So it's like he's a rookie. It's his first year. Yeah. And he's missing a lot in the playoffs. And he'll get better. You know, next oh, year he'll yeah. be better. And he's shooting terribly in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, and it's just it's just a pressure, man. You're, I don't know. Dude, I'm okay. I don't know, I know a single Sacramentoian who is like, who's upset that the Kings oh, yeah. w- made no, the playoffs no, no. for the first time in 17 years and won two games. I'm fine. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm, that's <laughs> That's fine, dude. Honestly, they made it to the playoffs. So it's like. Third, they, they were the third seed. Yeah, it's not like, like they snuck in. There's a play-in tournament, so now you can be the tenth seed and make the playoffs. Yeah, they're the third seed. Yeah, that's after 17 years of not making the playoffs. I'm happy. Oh, absolutely. And so is, so is most of the city. Like they <laughs> Me too. they brought back their um their outdoor section or their nine yeah I section, see these hell of which is bonkers. There. Hell of thousands people. of people are watching from outside the stadium, which is insane. Like the beam. I know, right? Dude, it was like, I the saw a post. It was back. like, whoever came up with Light the Beam needs a fucking raise. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then oh, now yeah. and then now people, I see some people online, they're like, oh, we get it. Light the Beam. Like, oh. Shut up. Like, shut the fuck up. 17 <laughs> up, years not making the here. fucking playoffs. Go fuck yourself. Go home. We're going to yeah. be happy. Go fu- fuck you. Yeah. Nah. It's just like, it, it's happy God to get some sort point. of. Fucking it's, it's happy to see like some good news coming from like 
a home-ish team. Yeah. Because uh, some some people might know, uh, like the three people that are going to watch this. Uh, we lost the A's. Yeah. We. It's not even. I mean, <laughs> it's yeah. It's Oakland. But still, it's like. It's close. Who am I going to root for? The Giants? Fuck that. You going to keep rooting for the A's? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to root for the fucking <sighs> Giants. Um, but yeah, Oakland lost all three of their professional sports in teams five in years, five just... years. Yeah. That's, in, that's intense. Like, obviously, Golden State is Golden State. But they play out of San Francisco, so it's it's a totally different kind of situation. But it just sucks because it feels like they could have done better and they just decided to pack up and take their ball home to Vegas. But I honestly think the Kings still have a shot. You know, they might not they win it, but I think I think they're gonna keep oh going. Oh my god, dude. yeah, these people get these, these bench these people gotta play better. Oh yeah. Is it that bad? I mean, Fox scored 38 points, and the next highest score was 23. Oof. And they're ne- and then Sabonis only scored 14 points. Oof. And the Warriors, they got 32, 22, 26, 18. Oh, no. Well, I mean, sh- shouldn't got to put the ball in the basket to win. Come on, guys. It is bright. All right. <laughs> it is absolutely Which, bright as shit today. Good. It'll help the... Camera. Sure. All right. Um, <laughs> we're talking about video games. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in oh, this group. Oh, chat. dude, back to sports for a second. Dude, the Lakers were up last night, thirty-five to nine. Oh, when? In like, the first <laughs> it, it, at it, the end of the first? Yeah. Jesus. And the and like, at one point they were up forty-five to fourteen. Part of me really wanted to say it's like, come on, I can score more than nine points, but like, no, you can't. I mean, I can if nobody's guarding. If you me. just chuck up a bunch of threes, you could probably yeah. make a couple. Of, yeah. After fifty of them, you just one win of them by will volume. go in. Yeah. One of them will go in eventually, yeah. probably. If I shoot two hundred baskets, I'm gonna get a percentage of those. One <laughs> percent. Even then. that's two. <laughs> that's six points. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. And then they. And then so it's Lakers and. Do they come back on? Do they end up losing that game? No. Okay. Thank God. I was going to say. Well, like, it was Lakers you, and whoever they were, they were playing. Oh, uh, Memphis. Memphis Grizzlies. Okay. Uh, but then Ja Morant scored like 45, and Oof. they brought it back to 10. They got they lost by 10 points. Okay. But it but was still. never like like the Lakers were like, we just got it. The Lakers pulled back. They were like, okay, Shame. let's just let's just score. Let's just smother them. They got old guys on their team. They don't want to get AD to get fucking hurt. They don't want yeah. street clothes man to fucking. All right, yeah. let's move on. That was like sports. We're not going to go. <laughs> so football. No, video games. <laughs> This happens. See this. See Nick. I tell you, this is what happens when we don't film anything before. <laughs> True. <laughs> we you don't hang out. We just about, like yeah. start doing this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, go video games. Yeah. So I'm in this Discord chat, and I'm in a specific chat room, and there's like 200 people in that chat room, and it's just their like uh, portable game section. And I'm trying to get people to get fucking Monster Hunter so I can play with them, because the servers are still up. It's just um, no one's uh, on. At all. So, it's kind of lonely in there. Is this still getting updated? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they still add, uh, like, uh, it's it's more like scheduled. Um, but people aren't playing. But it, the players, players has gone down? There's still people playing, but there's either private lobbies for online or uh, public lobbies for online. Because the, um, the online side of things has different missions and quests and monsters. So, you can play online privately it's basically like there's a actually the average player base has gone up yeah it uh, there's something going on with the newest game and not a lot of people are liking it so they're going back to the older style oh, okay yeah. last 30 days on steam well, the only thing you can look at is steam last 30 mm-hmm. days twenty thousand. yeah so there's definitely average, people average concurrent players the other thing is there's no no sort of cross play so i'm playing on switch so Whoa. there might be um, what happened in february in january 2020 because uh, it was at over a hundred thousand. COVID. <laughs> People were at home. <laughs> no, that was before COVID. January twenty twenty. That was like right when it hit. No, that was in March. No, it it started. Well, it started. March is when sh- stuff got shut down. True, but that's trust me. I know. I got fired from my job. <laughs> <laughs> let go. Um, let go. You know how it is. It was only um, like I was. <laughs> it was a times job, anyways. So They're going to be like only like four weeks, anyways. So it was like yeah. Four weeks. <laughs> Yeah, Four but weeks still, it sucked. Um, that was nice. We just hung out at home for like <laughs> yeah, for like two months, loving it. 
You uh, played through uh, all of a uh, gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. I actually might buy it again. Play through it again. <laughs> Do it. All right, all right, go, go, go. Um, other than Monster Hunter, it's just Call of Duty. That's pretty much it. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty. You get it. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I knew you were thinking it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm like 68 percent of the way through the battle pass. There's still like 55, 54 days left. So I'm just gonna finish the battle pass and then just work on some guns, that kind of thing. Um, I accidentally got a gun gold, and now uh, my OCD can't stop me. And I think this past week I've gotten four guns gold. I was like, I, "This is my new, That's too this much. is my new chore." Yeah, because there's like 80 guns in that game. Play another game. Yeah. I mean, that's the only game me and Jess both have, so. Oh, you play it together. Yeah. yeah, yeah I forgot. Yeah. I forgot. That makes sense. Yeah. That and sometimes, like, she she has other friends she wants to play with, so oh. I'll just jump in with them. Oh, you're supposed to be the mascot in here. All, my, all our mascots are gone. We got three of them. They're all gone. Uh, I think one was on the table a minute ago. What's after uh, video games? Uh, Movies. Any movies, Nick? Playing so much Call of Duty, you can't be watching any that many movies, right? I watched Dune. Funny enough, you said you were gonna rewatch Dune. Watched it twice, back to back. What I was the at work. Fuck is wrong with you? I was at work trimming roses and pulling weeds, so I just put my headphones on and set my phone in front of me. It was pulling weeds while I was watching it. Because I had, I finished the six book. hours. No, 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 it wasn't like it wasn't in one day. I watched like that's not back I, to back then. I watched like two and a half hours of the movie, and then the next day I picked it up right where I left off, and then started it over. So like I, I didn't watch anything else. I just went straight back through it because I was re- I read the book. That's crazy. Dude. Or read I think I, I think I definitely want to rewatch it before we watch the second movie, which is mm-hmm. out this year. Uh, supposed to be December, yeah, or November, but I think it's November. Since I had gone through the book, I wanted to see what had changed, but the movie is so distracting and good. Um, I basically forgot what I was, I was going to say. You weren't even thinking about it. I wasn't even that. thinking about it. And I was that. like, this movie is a masterpiece. And then I remembered like roughly towards like the last <coughs> section of that movie <coughs> spoilers <coughs> during the fight scene at the end. Uh, I remembered I was supposed to be more like studying the movie and I just ran it back. Um, and they, th- the things they changed, I feel like they changed for the better. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember what I was telling you about um, when we played Dune? That I was like, I was, I had the wrong characters. Yeah, and I was like you <laughs> Duncan that. Idaho, like staring at it, like, yeah. When did Jason Momoa on the? <laughs> wasn't he on the? Wasn't he these guys? <laughs> yeah. That segment's gonna be good. I oh my god, it's gonna be more action packed. I hope it's more action. A little bit, yeah. Because, like, where I got into the book, where the movie stops. Did you stop or did you read the whole thing? I got through the whole thing. Okay. But where they stop in the book, it is at, like, a pivotal point where there's, like, a two-year time skip. Which works because it's been two years. Kind of makes sense. But in, also, in the story, too, like, they're like, we escaped. Finally. Every single other character is dead. I'm the only one alive. Well. But, yeah. Probably skip. Yeah. they. Um, there's a handful of characters that, like... It's ambiguous, like, what happens to them. And then there's others where it's like, this person clearly died. <laughs> They're definitely not coming back. Yep. So. I kind of like, sometimes I kind of like time skips. Yeah. In I mean, my, in my story, my story that I have, mm-hmm. that I haven't written any more of in a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Since I read it. There's a bunch of time skips. No, I got halfway through the second, second chapter. Oh, nice. I think I read um, And it's on my first. laptop and I can't find my laptop. Is that the one that got stolen out of the car? No. Okay. Good. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Oof. It's probably in one of these boxes somewhere. I hope so. <laughs> Might be on my dad's. Well, that just, room? Just start over. I could start over. Yeah. I could start the it's only chapter it's two chapters. No, I got the first chapter done. Start over. And the problem is I got stuck uh, yeah. for like two years. And then yeah, I didn't right write anymore block, for two yeah. years. I haven't really tried that hard anymore. Just do okay. it like... Um, Movies. Martin. Um, Who the... F- what? Oh. George R. R. Martin. Yeah, just bounce around. Uh, no, nah, but obviously like... Dune, and I think I started, I say I think, I was like half asleep when I hit play. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a, a movie, but it could be a show. I don't know. I'd have, I'll Let me look. What? what are you talking about? Go ahead, and then I'll double check. What are you talking about? A um, movie I started. I think it's a movie. It was just what? like a show. I got to remember what it was. So you know who Brandon Sanderson is, right? 
Brandon Sanderson? Yeah. The like basically the world's number one science fiction writer. Yes. Or fantasy fic- fantasy yes. fiction writer. Uh, I saw this clip, and he was like, uh, "I've heard of him, but I've never read any of." He himself. was like, uh, "Oh, some somebody uh, he was he has a podcast, I guess. I I don't listen to it, but I've seen a couple mm-hmm. clips. And somebody was talking about Rings of Power, and he's like, mm-hmm. I still like Rings of Power. I'll give it like a seven or an eight. And he goes, seven or an eight. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you know, I mean, I guess it's not that it's not like you know that good, but it's still like just because it's Lord of the Rings, man, I still love it. And they, he's like. Seven or an eight? He's like, what the hell is wrong with you? He's like, and you like my books? He's like, uh. <laughs> like, mm, that might say something about my books. Speaking of shows and Which movies, really funny. more specifically movies, um, they're making the Harry Potter movies and yeah. shows. Yeah, let's, I was going to bring gonna, that up. They're going to ruin that so badly. I don't know. I feel like giving each book a season will yeah, do it more justice. It's... Nowadays, though, yeah, it's HBO nowadays. Yeah, but I mean, they did great with Last of Us. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, but this is <laughs> here's my only rebuttal to that: Last of Us and Harry Potter are two different things. It's because Last of Us hasn't been done before in a movie format, mm-hmm. so then now they're gonna have they're gonna like. Oh, we have to change things to make it different. The Last of Us, like, they don't have to change things. Is it really changing things? Thanks, bud. Is it really changing things, or is it just adding things from the book back to it? That's the thing. I don't know. I'm. I'm I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm worried. I. I'm well, you know me. Too. I've been very vocal about my how I feel about Harry Potter. Yeah. I can't find it, so I must have watched it on Jess's, and I don't have hers. So, any more I movies? Just mm. Dune twice. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so that was like six hours of my week. All right, I watched a couple movies. We've been slower at work, so I've been have a chance to watch movies. Yeah. I'm like working, but I'll have like the movie going, yeah. and I'm like doing work. Yeah, so pushing chairs around. But we're like that. working. I'm not I'm not watching a movie while I'm working. Um. Oh, first of all, I... S- my God, your boss watch these or something? Like, <laughs> yes. I was just kidding. <laughs> Roger, he said he ro- he's watches them sometimes. He said he likes to go watch old videos of mine. I was like, please don't oh, do no. that. I was like, please don't do that. He was watching our old, I told you this, he was watching our old podcast. Oh, no. And he was fine. laughing at him. He's like, no, these are funny, man. I'm like, dude, that's so cringe. Why well, I should get rid of them. He's like, no, don't get rid of them. They're great, dude. I love it. He's like, he's like, don't buy what? For like an hour. I like sat at my desk because he was hurt. Mm-hmm. So I sat at my, he's like, sat at my desk and I watched his old, old podcast please from 10 don't. years ago for an hour. Please don't do that. Yeah. So cringe. Do you still have the one um, <clears throat> in my backyard? Yeah. Oh, God. God, weren't you? I think that was the same day you guys were kicked out of McDonald's. No, I could have sworn it was because no. uh, I thought you guys came from McDonald's to my house. No, because that was way later in the day at McDonald's. Oh, because I got off it of work. The day I got then. off of work and went to McDonald's because okay. I remember that. I remember walking to McDonald's because I had cash. Okay, that might have been the day before then. <clears throat> uh, I wa- I skimmed through all four Born movies on Netflix. But that's not really watching. I watched them. Mm. But all, but I've like rewatched the boy like once every six months. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> my coworker, he's like, "Yo, I never watched the Bourne movies before. They got all four on Netflix." I was like, "There's five of them." He's like, "What?" Yeah, we don't talk about that. I'm like, "There's five of them." He's like, "No, he's not." Like, Trust me. Yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, I actually liked the fourth Bourne movie, which is a spinoff. I actually mm-hmm. liked it. Jeremy Renner. Yeah, I thought it was good. Chronologically, the first. No, it takes place the same time as the third one i thought it was at the same time as the first one no same time as the third one because he's in a different program okay he's in blackbriar but he w- but um jason Bourne was from treadstone and then they buried treadstone and made a new program called Black Briar. Oh, okay okay because i remember both of those because he was on there. the run because he was on the run in in that movie you see like jason Bourne's on the run on the mm-hmm. tv and he's not on the run until like until the until they remember like the third is, yeah. the third movie yeah because he's still kind of a ghost in the first one yeah in the first one it, it, nobody knows who he is Shit, he doesn't even know who he is. <laughs> uh, what a snap. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then... here's what, Did you watch all the Bourne movies? I didn't watch the spinoff one. Okay. But you watched the Jason Bourne? The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that spinoff one's actually good. I think. I want to watch it. I think it. you I like it. Right I, yeah, it's I on Netflix. Him. It's really it's good. Um, I didn't want them to make that fourth Bourne movie. You want to know why? Because, spoiler for the fourth Bourne movie. I knew when it was announced. Mm-hmm. I literally knew. I was like, they're going to kill Nikki in this movie. 
already knew it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. And then they try to fake you out thinking, oh, Nikki's not going to die. Mm-hmm. It's like a motorcycle chase. And it's like, oh, and then she dies. And I'm like, I yep. knew, I literally knew she was going to die. Yep. So it wasn't like shocking. I was just like, oh, of course they killed her off. Yeah. Like the only other character in the whole show, yeah. whole movies, and they killed her off for no reason, just for shock value. I just hate, yeah. I hate shock value kills in movies. We've had this, couple, we talked about this before. Yeah. When we brought up uh, Prison Break. Br- no, Breaking, yeah, Prison Break and Breaking Bad. Yeah. It was like, for, just for shock value. You killed him for no reason, just for shock value. Doesn't advance the story, doesn't do anything. Yeah. I hate kills like that. I, I will never do, I hate kills like that. If I ever make a, make a movie, I'm not going to do kills like that. I just, I don't know. There's no reason why you kill, it's just for shock. Unless it's actually shocking. Sometimes it's like, at like Walking Dead, sometimes it's actually shocking. Or Game of Thrones, yeah. Game of, and you're like, what? Yeah. You're like, that person died? But if you like, see it coming, like, like Glenn, I wanted to give a pause. Yeah, like that was Glenn. a shot that got yeah. me. I was like, "Holy shit!" Dude. Yeah. Or or Abraham. Right Sorry, I can't him. come to work today. There's been a death in the family. <laughs> yeah. But not like, uh, dude, those, those meat, worked. The, the meat that meat was actually from the du- when he went out to the dumpster. But mm-hmm. I remember that was I was like this. <laughs> that was the, that's my favorite oh, yeah. meme of all time. And that was also such a fake out. Like they pretended he was dead and then killed him like two episodes later or something. No, like it was that. Mo- it was a couple episodes. Oh, was it? Because I thought that was like uh, it was. You're right. It was only. It was like I thought it was like maybe, three episodes. No, it was maybe like because um, okay, so <laughs> tangent. And, here we go. <clears throat> there we go. In Walking Dead, what they did was uh, Alexandria got uh, attacked, and then they took it back. Um, and then there's five episodes of nothing happening, and then uh, Negan happens. Mm. So I say, if you're gonna want to watch that. S- like stop at when they take Alexandria back. Mm-hmm. We have, we talked about this before in another mm-hmm. podcast because that's such a great moment of mm-hmm. them all coming together and like all fighting together. And it was like a bonding and it was like, we're taking back our city. And then five episodes later, it get take it, it gets taken from them Yeah, again. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know. That just annoyed me. It was like literally five episodes later and it's taken again. Oh, I don't, I hate like an all super powerful enemy that there's like, there's absolutely no way you could ever defeat this enemy. Like Thanos? Yeah, but I think Thanos, but like Thanos like seemed beatable. Seemed. And they almost beat him. Like even with taking the gauntlet off, they almost beat him. Then mm-hmm. Star-Lord killed half the people in the universe. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then they almost beat him again. Like Thor, if Thor had gone for the head, he would have beat him. He would have killed him, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was like, so he, he seemed charm. beatable. Yeah. Okay. But when you have an enemy like Negan, he was... He was shown so powerful, and it's literally ten episodes of them shoving it down your throat. He's unbeatable. He's unbeatable. He's unbeatable. He's gonna mm-hmm. kill you. He's gonna kill you. And they shove it down your fucking throat so much. Yeah, I hate enemies like that, and that bores me so much. It was so boring. He was so powerful. He had so many people behind him. It was boring. Yeah, I think that doesn't translate well when it comes to shows. Or Maybe movies. in movies it's different. Well, not even movies like. Movies, it's even difficult because if you have something like that, the whole goal is finding out or getting to a point where they are beatable, which it doesn't really matter because at the end of the movie, like, you know already that it's going to happen. You're just watching them figure out how, which sometimes that's okay. But for like Avengers, you knew they were going to beat Thanos. It's just who are they going to lose in that road to beating him? Yeah. And then. The thing where I said it, it's more like mo- it's like like movies because mm-hmm. movies is like oh it's two hours you know when it's gonna be over it's two hours but in the show it's like oh here's Negan here's twenty hours of Negan yeah or more than that here's forty here's two full seasons here's yeah. forty hours of Negan being the most powerful enemy they've ever seen yeah and it's like that's to me that's so boring yeah it's so long if it's two hours of an unbeatable enemy they somehow beat him that's fine yeah you know. No, I mean, I get it because there isn't really like, you don't see a finish line when it comes to a show like that. It could have been two more seasons. Yeah, it could be five full seasons of Negan. Well, I mean, it had ended up being, what, like three? I don't know. Three I seasons? I stopped watching. Had, yeah, I did Because it was boring with Negan. Yeah. Some I mean, people was, like Negan. Like yeah, the he was Negan a great thing. bad guy. He's just well, annoying was, to was, watch. Well, yeah, I was bored. No, I get it. Bored and annoying with him so powerful. Yeah. And it's stupid and, and it was like un, totally uh, it was like unrealistic. All these people and he's so powerful. And it was like all these people are like right next to Alexandria and they like mm-hmm. never cross paths. And then there's yeah. all these other settlements that are like close enough that you can drive to, so they can't yeah. be that far away. 
And it's yeah. like, how much gas do you have that you're driving? Like, if they are far away, if they're four hours, you're driving like eight hours. Like, yeah. Like, what's what's the point of all? It this? just seems like ridiculous. Like, it was like there's too many people in too many settlements and too. And Negan was had like a hundred hundreds of people. Yeah. I'm like, you can't have this many. That's a stupid. I don't know. Yeah. We're talking about movies, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Let's just jump into shows. <clears throat> God damn, dude. It is a classic podcast. We're doing a classic podcast. Yeah. Today. Bring it around. Uh, I watched, and then I watched five random movies. <clears throat> what are those? <clears throat> what? What movies? So I watched a movie called Copy. See, I got to remember these. They're like so random. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I watched a movie called Copycat. Um. Oh, and that had a... Sigourney Weaver Sigourney and Wiener. Holly Hunter and Will Patton. I don't even remember him. And uh, what's his face? Dermot Milroney. Uh, oh, boy. What is this movie even about? Oh. Did you say what is this movie even about to a movie? Like, how do I watched? explain what it is? Okay, so. Wikipedia. So Sigourney Weaver, it, like, she gets attacked and then she's. um, So she's a forensic scientist or whatever. Um, a for psychologist. She's a psychologist who works on serial killers, and then she gets attacked like by a serial killer. She lives, and then she becomes super agoraphobic and is stuck in her house. And mm-hmm. then there's another serial killer who's like obsessed with her, and it's Holly Hunter and Dilmer Mulroney trying to catch him. Um, and it was like a kind of a, it was a pretty good psychological. I think I might have seen something. Yeah, yeah. It. See, like I was like I I think I've seen this, but yeah. a long time ago. It's like one of those fever dreams. Yeah, and then I watched a movie called Haywire. Oh, and that yeah. had that's a 2011 movie with the main character Gina Carano, mm-hmm. uh, Channing Tatum, and Michael Fassbender, Michael Douglas, Antonio Medeiros, and Ewan McGregor. What movie is this again? Haywire. I know you're like, what the fuck? What I is this not movie? Hear about this. Random ass movie about Gina Carano. It's Carano, right? Ah, uh, sure. She's like a highly. She's like a spy, super spy, mm-hmm. for the government, and then she gets like a. Uh, betrayed by whatever and then she has to kill a bunch of people and it was like really like a it's a steven soderbergh movie so mm-hmm. it was really like grounded and like the fight scenes were like brutal and like oh yeah oh and a lot of that it wasn't like this john wick like flipping and fucking hey 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 hey, hey. john wick's pretty fucking dope, yeah it's good but it's still like the fight scenes are like you're like okay we like we get it. i don't know it was like more grounded it was like like the punches seem real like it's like like the sound is like or whatever. I, you gotta, um, you gotta love good Foley work. Yeah, and that was okay, I guess. But it was kind of the story was kind of whatever. Um, but it was I was like, what is this movie? I saw it. And I was like, who's in this? I was like, what is this? Oh, I think I just started it randomly, and I was like, wait, this wait what? This guy's in it? Wait what? This guy wait what? <laughs> Are you looking at it? Yep. Yeah, I know. It's like all those actors. You're like, hey, what? And this is when she was still fighting, I think. Yeah, she she got her brain reworked by uh, Chris Cyborg, and she stopped fighting after that. So, yeah. And then I watched this movie called <laughs> The, the Forgotten with Julianne Moore as the main character in it. I think I might have seen that movie. <laughs> Stop watching all these movies. Um, and that was like, uh, ago, so she was, she's grieving the loss of her son uh-huh. who died. And then her psychiatrist is like, oh, he uh, never existed. You created eight years of memories of your son existing. And then I don't she's, think I finished it, but I think. And I then she's like trying to prove that he's real. Mm. And then there's like a. It be, it gets really weird, <laughs> and Gary Sinise is in that. I love Gary Sinise, dude. You know who I am absolutely fascinated with? Who? Gary Busey. <laughs> the Buse is so funny. Him and his son. They're and then here amazing. I watched a movie called In the Cold Light of Day. Uh huh. It uh, came out ten years ago. It's got Bruce Willis in it. Yeah, yeah, Bruce Willis. Henry Cavill is the main character. Oh, gosh. And Sigourney Weaver is the bad guy. Oh, gosh. What is what is it again? Sorry. In the, co- yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the Cold Light of Day, it's on HBO Max. Sorry, Max. Um, And it absolutely bombed in the box office, but it was it's a like a old Henry Cavill movie. I liked it. And Bruce Willis isn't too overwhelming in it. Yeah, this is 2012. Yeah, 10 years ago. 11 years ago. Um, And it was I kind of liked it. <laughs> and then I watched a movie called Mission to Mars um, with Gary Sinise in it and Tim Robbins and Don Cheadle. Um, and that mm-hmm. was pretty good too. I think after I watching it, I was like, I've seen this before. 
I'll watch it again because I don't remember the story. And there was like, uh, Don Cheadle goes to Mars with a crew and then they're all killed by something. Go on. And then there's a rescue and then there is a rescue mission and they go save him. And Tim Robbins and Gary Sinise go save now, him. Now, was it something or is it like an accident? No. Um, Spoilers? Aliens. Okay. It like tells you like I mean yeah. you have to know the premise of the movie kind of yeah. I mean. <laughs> well it's the same with like um I think it's called Life it had uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in it where they find like an alien yeah. species in in space and it just takes over there yeah I haven't seen that I want to watch that I hear it's phenomenal but like the way it's the way they set up the suspense and the horror for the movie is a lot like Alien the movie where it's like this thing doesn't seem like it would be I was wondering if it's called oh sorry. I was wondering if it was called Life because there's another movie with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence in it yeah. called Life, which is a great movie. Great movie. Um, watched it not too long ago. And they're just both called Life. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Because it's on because it's on Netflix. You've seen Life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me like, and Jess will put it on every day. Like, this is then. pretty good. It's, it's such a good movie. But yeah, it, it's the way they set the suspense up in that movie. It's it's like Alien where you just don't know what you don't know about this thing. And it slowly <laughs> starts like piecing the puzzle pieces together. It was on Netflix at one point and I never, I didn't yeah. watch it, but it's, it's a pretty good movie. I haven't seen all of it. I've only seen like bits and pieces, but extended bits and pieces. So it's seen like three quarters uh, of the movie just jumbled together. Yeah. It's nowhere free. So I gotta buy yeah. it. So I'm not gonna buy it. Yeah. But it is a great movie. <coughs> great ending. Phenomenal ending. You see? <laughs> I've seen the end of the movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's it. Movies, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, TV shows. I've watched the first four seasons of South Park probably five or six times since the last podcast. I think probably Tuesday. What the fuck are you talking about? I could have recited the first 15 minutes of the first episode of South Why? Park. Because I'll put it on when I fall asleep. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Everything else I put on, like Netflix or uh, YouTube, it will stop like 20 minutes in. That must be fucking nice, dude, being able to have the TV on. It's not. It's on my phone. Jess has uh, noise-canceling headphones. Oh, so <laughs> she'll just put her headphones on and fall asleep. I'll just say TV on because I can't watch TV. Yeah. but It's so annoying. Dude, this fucking sucks. I'm gonna, like, yeah? You ever like lay down and you're like sleeping? Uh-huh. You're like going to take a nap, but you watch TV while you're like laying down? Uh, can't do no, that. One. No, I can't. I can't imagine that. I don't have a TV in my bedroom. Okay, in your life, I know you've done this. Eh. I hate you so much. You're the fucking worst. <laughs> but yeah, I, I have um, I have this case sitting next to my bed that has a handle, and I'll just stick my phone in the handle. Yeah, I don't really have a, I don't have a thing next to my bed yet. I just, it's just a cardboard box with a thing on top, so I just put my I phone I have on nothing that. next yeah. to my bed. We'll put a box. Put the crate next to it. Do something, man. That's way too big. <laughs> You're making excuses. All right, go, go, go. go. But yeah, I've, I I just hit the first episode and usually fall asleep by maybe halfway through the second episode. So I've watched the first episode of South Park probably 30 times since the last so podcast. Stupid. Why'd you pick a different episode? Because like I'll go through the first season like, yeah, that It's not happens, that great of an that episode. Happens, that ha- it's not. The second episode's significantly better. <laughs> okay, Apparently... Apparently, the way they were setting everything up, they released the first episode and didn't even start the second episode until the first episode aired. And then they started getting money and they just immediately. That's, that's the thing. Is South Park is like a lot of shows are done like way in advance. Oh, yeah. South no. Park's done like the week it comes out. They, they, got, they want it to be super topical, right? They yeah. Said this. Well, they, they did a show or they did an interview called, um, I think, Six <coughs> Days. Let me double check. It's like Six Days <coughs> to Release or some shit God like that. God damn. Um,. I just watched it the other day. Come on, don't be dumb. Uh, yeah. But they talk about how uh, one of the seasons, they, I think it was like season five or season six, they got the green light for the next season and they didn't start the episode until six days before. And there was already commercials and ads running about South Park's new season and they hadn't even started the season yet. And uh, they just go through... Yeah, it's six days to air the making of South Park. And they just go I've, through... I've seen it. Not seen it, but I've seen... Yeah. Th- they just go through the process of like how they make an episode and how when they first started... I think I might have, I think I watched I think I might have watched it. I mean, it's like an hour, but still, it, it's a great deep dive into a show that like 
you, you don't think about how much work they put into it or how little work they put into it, considering they do it in six days. But the fact that, you know, they have nothing. They start from scratch, like, in a writing room, just throwing stuff at the wall, and then they piece it together into an episode, and then they edit the episode Like, the ga- like have you seen a... Uh... Bill Hader talk about the yeah. making of the gay fish episode. Oh yeah, he's like they're just like hanging out. He's yeah. like gay fish. He's like we're making an entire episode based off of that. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't realize he was a writer for a good majority of episodes until I watched that where he, he was talking about the writer room and they were talking about like stuff that they just throw at the wall. And if a joke didn't fit, they were like, put it in our back pocket. We'll use it for a different episode. So there's a handful of things that just like it's a one line joke that they really wanted to make an episode about, but it didn't work. So they just made it as a joke and put it in a random episode. I saw this, I saw this clip um, of one of the night shows, one Mm -hmm. of the night talk shows or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was a David Letterman show. Mm -hmm. And he was like doing a monologue or whatever. And he's some joke. And then the, it showed a clip of like a bunch of pots and pans Mm -hmm. getting hit or whatever. And it goes back to him and you can tell the audience is kind of confused. And he's like, the writer's room has been working for two years to try and get that that clip into a joke. <laughs> and they finally did it and it bombed. <laughs> so hard. And he yeah. said it like on the, as a clip. And I was like, that's fucking hilarious. Like they literally tried oh, for yeah. years and they finally got it in a, cli- in a clip. Yeah. He's like, and then it didn't work. And he's like, and I told him it wasn't going to work. Some, I can't yeah. remember exactly what he said, but it was something like that. But still, it's stuff like that. It's like you never know if the joke's going to be funny. They only put it in episodes if they laugh at it in the writer's room though. Like if it's not something that they progress the story with for the episode or something that they didn't like die laughing at they usually just cut it but they're in for the they're in there like two three hours just shooting the shit having fun to make a 26 minute episode but they leave that room with a 26 minute episode and then they go cut it together so it's it's a great show honestly like you if you haven't seen it you should watch it all right um anything else uh, show wise, n- nothing that I've started. I'm gonna the next show I'm watching is called Fired on uh Fired on Mars. It's just came out Thursday. It's on a uh, HBO Max. Um, yeah, Fired on Mars. It has oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's his name? Um, one of the Wilsons. One of the Wilsons. Yes. Owen. No, the other one. Luke. Luke Wilson. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> 50 50 shot but yeah it's uh, it's about like a graphic designer who gets uh, a job on mars and when he gets there they find that uh his budget's been cut so they fire him so i'm like i want to dive into that that seems so he's like just fun. stuck on mars is it he's just he's pretty much stuck on mars with no job yeah <coughs> but it's right. like colonized so yeah but still it, it seems like it'd be a fun joke what about you what are you watching south park <laughs> that's why i brought it up because i knew you you started it haven't gotten to watch them yet. <laughs> I've only watched like 10 episodes. Uh, yeah. You want to know why? You want to know why? What, uh, what season HBO did you start? Max doesn't fucking work in my goddamn basement at work. Nice. It's a pain in the fucking... It keeps Just not download working. the episodes. I have HBO Max free for my internet. Oh, yeah? Don't have downloadable yeah, on that's, there. I think, like, so I'm like, do I want to buy it? No, no, no. Exactly. No. Just so I can watch like South Park $5, on my... No. Just so I can watch South Park on my lunch break? Yeah. No. Um, so that's why I haven't got to watch that many episodes. Oh, so I remember before we talked about um, South Park, and I was like, I know some of the shit is like too dumb for me, like Mr. Hanky or Towley. Uh huh. Um, I will say that episode with Mr. Hanky was the funniest fucking shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> I loved it so. I much. I was cracking. I'm falling out of my fucking chair. I'm like, this oh, is the yeah. fu-. he's like throws <laughs> shit, and they're like, yeah. what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> They're like Kyle, what the fuck? So Mr. Hanky or Stan, is what the fuck? The right? Christmas no, it's Kyle. Kyle, Kyle, what the fuck? You know, funny enough, I watched back the first season. <laughs> He's like, uh, Kyle, I think you need to go home and get some sleep, man. Yeah. <laughs> is, um, that, is this a Jewish? He's got a poop in a box. Is this a Jewish thing? He's like, wake yeah. up, wake up, and he's chasing uh, Mr. What's his name? Uh, Mr. Garrison. Garrison. That's what I thought it was, but yeah. I was like, no. Ch- is, is, is like drinking coffee. He's pooing it. He's chasing him. He's like, oh, get away. Oh, no, that's Mackie. Because they send him to the, the psychologist, and they're like, yeah, he's talking about poo a lot. And then all of a sudden, Mr. Hanky appears in his coffee cup. Yeah. And then he throws the poo at uh, Cartwright. Like, trust me. Oh, if it's the oh, first season, I know all about what it. What the fuck? Dude, yeah. doubt. But I was like, I wasn't laughing that much at the episodes. I'm like, mm-hmm. some of these like aren't that good. Oh, yeah. But yeah. that... Christmas Pooh one, I'm like, that was the funniest shit. The first season's I a little rough. That's why I was going to have you skip it. God, dude, that episode was so fucking funny, dude. Yeah, there's a handful in there. Like, uh, Barbara Streisand was... Like, when you watch it for the first time, the Barbara Streisand episode's pretty funny. 
after that, it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, let this joke die. <laughs> you know, I think they brought her back in like season 10. But uh, by then it's been long enough. I think season 10 came out like 2003 or 2004. So it's been it's been a while. I mean, yep. Because I think um, their 2000 season, uh, they finally make it to fourth grade. So I think that's uh, season three or four. I think they're in fourth grade when it starts. No, they're in second grade. No, they're they're ten though. They're in second grade. They're not ten. No, they're not. You say say fourth grade in the thing. <laughs> I can. T- they changed the intro for season I think four or five. That specified. They have the same teacher, same classroom. Yeah. Well, they they have Garrison, and then they have someone else, and then they have Miss Chokes on Cock, and then it goes back to Mister Garrison because he leaves the school and comes back. Like this is this is my oh, thing okay. right now. You're right. <laughs> this is my thing. During right the now. first fifty-eight episodes, they were in third grade. Yeah, and they've been in fourth grade ever since. Yeah, okay. which is weird. I swear ever, they said fourth ever grade ever since. Ain't it? Yeah, I swear they say fourth. Oh no, they're eight. Yeah, they um oh. because the sixth graders call them fourthies ever since, and okay. they they stuck with that joke, and then they haven't uh moved past fourth grade yet. All right, so I'm gonna slowly, slowly, slowly wake make my way through that. Take your time, honestly. Um, it's a great show. Yeah, I'll, I'll get. I'll Fun get fact: through. one of the only characters in the show that's never in an episode but still in the show is the uh, the guy that sings the theme song with the banjo. Is that guy ever in the show? He's never in the show. No. That's going to be the finale. Maybe it's going to be him. Like was telling every episode's just been him telling like stories. Pretty much to his like that's that's I mean it's he's gonna be a traveling like, musician telling stories or something yeah it's like a how I met your mother kind of thing you know it's gonna be, the final episode is gonna be something like that yeah um I found out something the other day that the first episode Kenny didn't die in was a Christmas episode yeah he was like uh because I think it was episode ten or something he was like, like that, or episode eight he kept like they almost kill him and then he was like yay I didn't die well because at the end they were like it feels like something's missing. And then the credits start to roll and he starts cheering. But yeah, yeah. that was a nice touch. And then they murdered him, I think, immediately in the next episode. But yeah, South Park's like my thing right now. It's in the first season. He only says like, Carmen only says, screw you guys and run home like two times. Uh, Yeah. But it, and he doesn't do it like, screw you guys. Yeah. And go ahead. Yeah. He was just like, start. screw you guys. I'm going home. That I don't think that doesn't probably like season three is when he really like leans into it. But there's a handful of like catchphrases they have that come in and then they're kind of funny and then they drop off and then they come back. Like uh, the respect my authority one. That hasn't happened yet. Yeah. That happens, I think, mid season somewhere around like four to six, and then it just disappears till like season twelve, and then it just comes out of nowhere. And anybody who's watched it, they see his face light up. It's like, oh shit, here we are again. <laughs> you know. But yeah, it's. I know the cheesy. They say cheesy poos a lot. He says cheesy poos a lot. He does say cheesy poos a lot in the first first two scenes. All right, and I've definitely watched the entire first season like before. Like, oh yeah, I remember like probably whenever it was on Netflix ten years ago. I definitely watched it. Well, scrolling through it, like just seeing the thumbnails, I can tell you exactly what happens in the episodes. (laughs) Like, it's gotten to that point. (laughs) All right, let's move on. I was gonna make a quiz for you, depending on how far you went. Oh, we're show. an hour and a half in. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Uh, you t- anything interesting on YouTube? Nope. Me either. Yeah, I don't think I'm so. Skip YouTube. No. I'll go to my history. Nothing. Nothing. Which is random ass shit. Same, honestly. A lot of shorts, to be honest. Uh, some good, some good sports stuff. I think because because the NBA playoffs are going, and like I said, I got a coworker who. My boss like talks. He wants to talk to me about them all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I'm only using YouTube pretty much for like music. All right, books. Um, I did start a new book. I think I talked about it last time because I was watching or listening to it on the way over. Uh, Good Omen. Uh, there is a show out with David Tennant and what's his name. <coughs> yep. Um, it's good so far. Uh, I haven't really gotten too far into it. Maybe, like three or four hours. But it's not a long book, so I'm trying to like savor it. Other than that, nothing new. I started a book. I asked my brothers for some book recommendations. My little brother said, um, "Heir to the Throne," which is the uh, Thrawn trilogy, mm-hmm. which I I'll listen to at some point. But I didn't start listening to that. And then I asked my older brother for like a 
uh, King Arthur book. It's kind of like King Arthur. Um, so I started The Once and Future King, which is a five book collection of like one of like he said it's the second most famous telling of King Arthur. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of weird. It's got some like comedy in it, I guess, which is kind of weird or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, second most famous version of King Arthur's story next to Mallory's Le Moult the Arthur. Uh, did I say what it's called? The Once Future King by T.H. White. Yeah. Um, I've only listened to two chapters yeah. and I got 32 hours left. Nice. So I I'll probably have. listen to like one because it's a collection of five books. So I'll probably uh-huh. listen to like one book and then go up to a different book and then come back to it at some point. Well, I have one credit oh, on hello, Audible. Ma'am. I have one credit on Audible as of yesterday, so I might snag it too. All right. Uh, mm. Sports. We already talked about sports. Yep. Skip it. I think the Canucks won last last game. Oh, dude. Yeah. So, so I don't remember what team it is or what stadium it is, mm-hmm. but uh, there's this one stadium. There's this meme online where they have to um, – they have to um, – so they got an NBA game there, mm-hmm. and then the next day is an NHL game, and then the next day is an NBA game, nice. and then the next day is an NHL game, nice. and then the next day is an NBA game. And they literally have to change their entire floor five days straight. I was like, yo, those guys are getting some fucking overtime. <laughs> Dude, oh, yeah. You're getting some pay. You're getting paid that day. Well, because after the basketball games – you have to <clears throat> clean out everything and then swap out the floors and get everything chilled proper. And then as soon as the hockey game's over, rinse, repeat. Yeah, they're Flip they're working. Yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. All right. Um. Podcasts, music, podcast, streaming. Oh, we were talking about books, I think. Actually. Oh, we were talking about books. We were past YouTube. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. We'll just get past. What are you doing? I was checking the scores. Are they out? All right, I guess they're out. Yep. How could you possibly be clicking on all these things? I don't understand. What do you mean? What do you look? What do you click on? Days? Yeah. Man, I haven't played since last Friday. Nope, Thursday. They won. What the f- French toast? Huh. Do you not know how it works? No, I mean, they literally won and haven't played since last Thursday. Okay. Since the 13th. But it's supposed to be playoffs, so like... Are they, like, do they have a bye week? Are they first seed or something? Doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I honestly doubt it because they play. I think they play multiple games in a week. It's like baseball. Yeah, but it, I don't know. They have, I don't they, know. They wouldn't have skipped twelve days. All right. Music, podcast, know. streaming, anything. Uh, regular same shit streaming. Honestly, same guy. I try to watch it every once in a while. If something pops up, yeah, I'll try and watch. Click on a stream and listen to it for like five minutes, and yeah. then I get bored. I get it. Um. I watched the stream yesterday for like two hours. Uh, he was playing, I think it's called Dead Grounds. Um, it's like a zombie survival game. It looked pretty good. Uh, almost, I want to say almost on par with like uh, Daisy. Okay, but it was more like inside buildings and shit. <clears throat> All right, All right, on to Indie Game Club. Did you play it? Did you play it? Yeah. How far did you get? The fourth boss, Lance. Third boss, Lance. I didn't get five hours in, to be fair, or four hours in. It's supposed to be five hours in. Yeah. How many hours do you think you got in? Um, Two? Probably three, three and a half. I was exploring more than I should have because there really wasn't much to explore. There wasn't really, like, collectibles in that, in that thing. But it's a fun game. It's like a, like a Dark Souls-y kind of game. Didn't realize that until... <laughs> I got my ass whipped by a training dummy. But uh, did you play? I'd be that training dummy easy. Yeah. I couldn't figure out, like, the, the two-button parry thing. <gasps> oh, wait. Um, I couldn't figure out the, like, the, the parrying using two buttons was, like, annoying for me. I couldn't get that timing down. I still don't understand the timing. Yeah. Half it's, the time. It's weird. I'm like, I'm like the yellow he, like, pops up, and then he attacks, 
Yeah. And then you and then I'm like boom, and then he just hits me anyways. And I'm like yeah. I don't I don't understand. Like he's in the middle of attacking, I hit it. And then I'm like I'm supposed to But then sometimes you can hit sometimes, sometimes you can hit works, him yeah. before the attack goes down. Yeah. Like the yellow pops up and then he's about to attack and then yeah. you hit him before that attack goes down and he falls down you can hit him. And then if he's in the middle of attacking, I'm assuming that's when you parry. Yeah. But then sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Well, parrying Technically, and I don't get how it is works. supposed to be interrupting attacks. So I thought you had to actually like almost take the hit because there is like a smaller like shove or push. Yeah. Is that what you're supposed that's not what you're supposed to do? I thought that's what you're supposed to do and it just didn't work. I was on that training dummy for like a half an hour trying to like practice that parry and it just was not working for me. So I got through um I think it was Chubbs. The big frog. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to, I think it's Lance. It's, it's basically Lance a lot, but I didn't beat him. He was kicking my ass. That's about as far as I got before right. I had to stop. So the thing I will say about the game is, uh, la- so <laughs> I, I was like, boom, I'm going to play it. Uh huh. And then, I'm screaming at my fucking TV at three in the fucking morning about Uh to pull my fucking hair out. Fuck that fucking piece of shit. Fucking fucking shit. Fucking game. I want to, I was like, I'm going to beat the shit out of Nick (laughs) for making me play this piece of shit. Uh, I should have backed up from the microphone when that happened. uh, Um, you didn't like it. (laughs) Well, I started playing on medium. Uh huh. Don't do that. I started on medium and then I got to, um, Green Ward, uh, which is like the first like boss after the first boss, and he immediately wrecked me. So I was like bumping that down, and just started over. To yeah, see you can't again. lower the difficulty and keep playing. Yeah. So I got thirty three minutes in. I got <laughs> to that boss. Yeah. I fought him twenty twenty times. Green Ward or Lancelot. Green. Ward. Yeah, you're not supposed to beat him. And I went. <laughs> I tried. I tried for a while to try or to no, beat him. Well, not Green. Then Lancelot. Whoever. Well, because there's you fight your brother for the crown. Yeah. Spoilers, and then out of nowhere, uh, Green Wart is that okay? That's Green Wart. Okay. Yeah, Green Wart. Yeah, Warchief. obviously you lose that. It goes to. The- yeah, but I I wanted to, like Ghost of Tsushima. I wanted to try to like see if I could do it. No, and, uh, you can't. I watched a video. You can drain his health all the way down, but it's just like Ghost where he'll just keep going. No. So uh, no, the boss after that. Um, Chubbs, the big boss. Like I the don't big... fucking know their goddamn names. They literally dude. have names above their health bars. So, I don't give a fuck. So you meet the elder, and then he yes. tells you you have to um, go save your brother. Go save your brother. You find his hat, I think, right after Chubbs, and then he tells you he's locked up. So you have to go get the key. Okay, I didn't do that. I thought Chubbs. Uh huh. Uh, Chubbs is the huge one. I'm gonna. Clearly. I was gonna. I was gonna scream. I was gonna. I was gonna scream. Yeah, his. He didn't really have anything parryable because he was so huge. That was, so it was fucking a lot of stupid. Yeah, it was okay. a lot of dodging. Dude, the fucking this red attack. I'm yeah. like, okay, <laughs> the red comes. I double dodge. Nope, doesn't work. Half yeah. the time. Half the time. Nope, it hits you anyways. I'm like, yeah. I'm double. I'm double. The yeah. red shows up. I double dodge. No, he still hits me. How's? <laughs> yeah. What's the point of yeah. being? A, uh, it's great. Uh, I so it. I was like. So I was like, last night, I was like, I'm going to play this for three hours. Okay, yeah. maybe not five, but three. And then I yeah. was like, I was sitting there and I was like, you can't lower the difficulty. So I was no. like, do I want to play for 33 minutes mm-hmm. again right now at three in the morning? No. <laughs> yeah. So no, I don't. Just, just muscle through it. Yeah. So the I hitbox, stopped. The hitbox is, is I do want generous. to play it on easy. Yeah. It sounds like that would be, it seems like that would be fun because I did like the story and I did like the gameplay. I like how like dark but whimsical it is i liked the gameplay yeah but not on medium <laughs> if you play that on hard go fuck yourself yeah i didn't get far either i don't I'm, care if you if, if you play it on hard and you're like i have fun well fuck you how about that yeah. go fuck yourself yeah. you're the reason games keep doing this stop doing that stop playing these hard games yeah. fucking stupid dark source is fucking stupid uh, you're a fucking idiot you play that shit i don't yeah. fuck you're stupid one gripe that I mean, it's not like a gameplay mechanic. It's more of like a style choice. One thing that I hate about that game is how the NPCs talk, like the weird noises. Oh my god, it. it's so annoying. It's <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> it, yeah, I'm it's like, so oh annoying. Oh my god, can we move? Oh my god. Oh, but yeah, I, I I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a little finicky because I felt like it was too generous with their hitboxes, 
And sometimes I would swing and be nowhere near them and it would hit them. So I'm like, I guess I got to figure this shit out. But where did you go with light armor or heavy armor? Because I went with light armor. Oh. I went with light armor because you can dodge farther. Yeah, me and too. And that was the thing. I did that. Um, Chubbs was pretty difficult because he only has heavy attacks, so you can't block. You have to dodge. One of them is like that jump where he ground slams. Yeah. You have to be basically like halfway across the Yeah, you the can't. I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, if you're in the middle and he does that, you get hit. Yeah. Like you can't dodge past that. Yeah. Um. Apparently, while you're doing the dodge animation, while he's rolling, you're invincible. Oops, sorry. You're invincible, so I think the way it sets it up is you're just supposed to roll away and time the damage animation with your roll animation. No, which is definitely dark. No, Dark Souls, you know, Bloodborne mentality, and uh, I suck at that. <clears throat> was it much better and easy though? It was pretty easy. I, I I can't say pretty easy. It was better because I got to focus more on the story. Because I, like I said, I loved how like dark yet whimsical it was. Also, the narrator is amazing. He's the guy yeah, that voices yeah. uh, Geralt in the Witcher games. You're reminding me of oh, okay. you're yeah. reminding me of oh, a couple podcasts ago. I talked about this uh, book series I read when I was younger mm-hmm. called The Mist Mantle Chronicles. I think I remember um, that. It was like a fantasy mm-hmm. epic, but with maybe not a fantasy, a medieval epic. Because there, I don't so think the there was like cats? that much magic and stuff. No, and it was like uh, mice and mm-hmm. gerbils and moles. Mm-hmm. And squirrels was like the political structure or whatever. Mm-hmm. And this kind of reminded me a lot of that. It was kind of, it's like those books was like mm-hmm. this world. It's like the yeah. same thing. Um, I think one of the annoying things that I kept running into is anytime there was an archer on the screen, I would always die to them. Because I'd be attacking something and I get hit with an arrow and it takes like a third of my health. And then I'm chugging my bug juice down and I get hit by something else. So I just felt like every single time I was trying to get space, I would just get attacked by something. So I'm going to give it some more time. Uh, I'll probably play a little more tomorrow. I will try to play it on easy. Yeah. But I just, last night, I was just like, I'm not going to do that again. Yeah. But I was going to play for three. That was my plan. I'm going to play for three hours. Yeah. I'm going to play, play till six in the morning. I'm just going to play this. No, I'll just beat a Ghost Recon. Yeah, I I wasn't sure if I was doing the parrying thing right, so I looked up, like, beginner tips, I guess, and it was mostly about, like, armor and shit. And I saw a video, somebody beats that game in four hours. And I was like, fuck you. Yeah, I was, like, laughing at the screen, because I was like, this is so Abs- ridiculously, yeah. idiotically horrid. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not, and so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I would like to try it on easy. Was it much, much, was it much funnier on easy? I... I got to the fight with your brother uh, on medium, and I feel like that fight was the same, but the fight with Green War was a little easier. Obviously, like I didn't play past that because he killed me almost immediately, but it felt like it was a bit more generous on like getting away from attacks on easy. So, Also, things do a little okay. less damage. I'm playing on so, easy. If yeah. I lose to Chubbs... <laughs> you more might, than yeah. like five fucking times you might but you'll you'll I'm make progress you'll make progress then i'm not gonna play it yeah no i got him down to like a quarter health then yeah you should be able to beat him on easy. i'm like now yeah. a couple of the i pawned him like 20 times and like at least two of the times i got him down to like a quarter and i was like i can beat him and then he smash and then i'll do the jump smash and mm-hmm. he did it like five times in a row yeah and i'm like i'm gonna die yeah and then i died and he did it like two two times well, also that's like depending on how far you are is what attack he'll use. So if you roll away and get hit and then you roll back, he'll swing his mace instead of jump. <sighs> uh, the other thing, once you beat him, he does give you a pretty nifty piece of armor that gives you frog resistance. So good, yeah. That that I mean, I got so mad. Dude, I'm screaming at yeah. three in the morning. I'm like, did you did you get a helmet? Because after yeah. after you pick up the crown, you get a helmet almost immediately after. Yeah, I put that on. <laughs> I oh, know I had the crown on. I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna play the game with just the crown." It gives you almost nothing. I know. It, and maybe there must be. Maybe there's a trophy for being it with just. Maybe the crown. I just thought it looked cool, just running around with the crown on. I was like, "Yeah, he's the savior." You know, I just hate. I just hate hella hard games for no fucking reason. I, I hate it. Dark Souls. Fuck, I hate, I hate it. it. I, hate I played it. Elden Ring for two hours, and I think I just barely got to the first, like, the first cutscene where you meet the maiden, and then you just stopped. Pretty much, yeah. It was on Jess's laptop, but. Still, like, I could see myself putting, like, 300 hours into this game and walking it with, like, 
it was okay, <laughs> you know? And I just didn't want to have that experience. Like, it's a great game. People love it. It was game of the year. It's just not a game I want to throw so many hours away at. I like... I want to have... Mm-hmm. I want to have a little bit of a challenge. That's why I play yeah. games on medium most of the time. Yeah. It's fun to have a challenge. That's why I play Call of Duty. I play the, through the campaign on Hardened, mm-hmm. my first try for fun. Oh, I, um, I just beat it on Hardened not too long ago. And it's, like a... Yeah. Like a... Uh, like I used to play through and I'm on easy like first time, but now mm-hmm. but now I'm like too good. It's way too easy and it's not mm-hmm. that fun. Yeah. Um, so I want to have a. Ch- I like a challenge. Yeah. But too much of. But like I'm not gonna play Call of Duty, on realistic. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. Remember realistic? I played through one mission. I think the last time I played on, on realistic on, with four people on veteran was. I'll play on veteran. I can be veteran nowadays, but. Well, last time I played on veteran was World at War, and that kind of ruined it for me. I played all of them. I played everyone on veteran. Fucking grenades they throw. World of War is like the heart, like the heart. Yeah. It's like they're literally easier now on veteran, like than World yeah. of War. Yeah. So I played through Harden. I think I only died like twice to like actual mistakes. There was a handful of times. I think yeah. the the boat mission where yeah. the the containers are sliding around on Harden, I just didn't realize there was one behind me sliding towards me and it killed me. But that was like ah, that's avoidable. It wasn't because the game was better than me. I was just being dumb. But I think. I think I had two deaths like that through the entire playthrough. So, I mean, I might give it a shot, but there isn't, I don't think, a trophy for beating an on veteran. I'm just going to do it anyways. That's, yeah. just, that's my thing. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so that's our indie game club. So next week we're going to continue to play Tales of Iron. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to get the DLC? No. It's just bosses, so yeah, no. <laughs> no. I don't think we'll... I don't think I'll beat it by the next one. You don't think so? I don't think so. Do you think you'll beat it by the next one? Probably. Or at least get to, like, the last boss. Let me know by, like, in, like, a week, next week. Like, let me know if you, like... I'll probably let you know, like, Friday. Like, if you're, like, I'm going to beat it. Or, like, I'm probably only going to get this far through or whatever. Then I'll try and get, like... Because there's, like, four... Because I looked at whatever on, like, your character screen. There's, like, four different boss types, enemy types. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's... Since we both kind of failed this one, we didn't get that far through at all. Yeah. um, We could try to just... For the next one, like get to like wherever those two like introduce the third type or whatever, and then stop. Well, or you could try to be, if you like try to beat it. If you're like, oh, I love it, I'm gonna beat it. Yeah. Then I'll then I'll try to beat it. There's four types. I think it's, I think it's grubs, moles, um, frogs. frogs, and wasps, but it's a different name. I don't remember what it was called off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, the moles is like a super small section. Oh, okay. Apparently. So, well, I don't know. I don't know how far I'll get, but I do. I will play it again. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know like Friday what boss I get to, and I'll let you know it's like if if I feel like I'm making a halfway decent amount of progress. If not, then I'll probably just take it slow and yeah, not and th- try to. Beat then it. we get like yeah. halfway through it next time since this time yeah. was a failure. Sometimes sometimes we fail. On the yeah, indie but game I mean it is a it fun happens. game. Sometimes yeah. we fail in indie game club. It happens. Uh, that's just how it goes. Yeah. So we're finishing ish that for next week. Yep. Um. What's next? All right. So for so and now we go through our what we've our plans were for these last two weeks. Mm-hmm. I put Star Wars Villainous didn't get to play it. Uh huh. Um. You put Carcassonne didn't get to play it. Stop putting Carcassonne. You have to put something else this time. I get paid Wednesday. I'm gonna try to get it. Stop. <laughs> I put Breakpoint MW2 multiplayer and Sonic played mm-hmm. all of those. Nice. You put MW2 which you've been playing. And you put Sackboy which you didn't play. I didn't play because I was playing the Indie Game Club. All right. And you put um, Dune, which you watched. I put the Money Pit. Mm-hmm. Money Pit got taken off of uh, oh, no. Peacock. Shame on them. But now I am going to mm-hmm. watch... Uh, I'm going to try mm-hmm. to watch... Um, double check to make sure it's there. Oh, well, one movie. I think I'm going to kind of want to watch it tonight. It's called Snowman. Um, it's about like a serial killer... It's number one movie on Netflix at this moment. Um, Fucking why? Go on. Because they because that's how Netflix works. It's a random ass movie. It's Michael Fassbender is like a cop or whatever, and he's trying oh, to solve murders from the yeah. snowman. I remember that one. And I'm going to watch that. I remember that one. I remember seeing it come out. I really wanted to see it when it came out. And I just, it's on Netflix. I just number one movie. It. I kind of want to. Kind of really wanted to watch it. I might add that to the list then, yeah. I might watch it tonight. I was kind of thinking about it. I might put it on Pleasant um, College. Oh, I got to watch. Okay. Oh, I got sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, I gotta write this down before I forget. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Uh, oh, the next. Oh my god, the next. I'm gonna try and watch. So there's, 
So Silence of the Lambs is a movie. Yep. And there's they made three other movies. Yep. Red Dragon and Hannibal Rising. And those are those are prequels. So what is the sequel after Silence uh, of the Lambs? You got this. I don't. I don't. You've already said the name of it. Is it just Hannibal? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was like, "There's no way." Is it called Hannibal? Um, all three of those are on Netflix. Oh, nice. I think I'm gonna try and watch those. At what? least, at least one of them. I honest, at least Hannibal. Hannibal Rising is honestly a really good movie because it explains some shit about like why he is the way he is. I think um, it coming out. I think last or second to last. It came out last. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say probably last. I think it coming out last is a good decision. Yeah. I know Red Dragon has a Edward Norton in it because I see his picture on the thing. Yeah. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try and watch all of those. All at least mm-hmm. I think watch Hannibal. I think Han- which is on Netflix. I think. Yeah. Um, so I, I think I'll at least try to watch that. Um, and I put South Park and something. Didn't watch and something. And you put Mando in from. Yeah. F R O M. Yeah. That was a show, right? Yeah. Did you watch that? I watched, I think, an episode of From, and we finished Mandalorian because it was the season finale this last Wednesday. Well, you didn't talk about that in your TV shows? I did not. I watched it day before yesterday, too. I, heard, I don't want to spoil um, anything. I heard, um, eh. I can see that argument. Uh, I feel like they're setting up season four as more of like a universe building uh, instead of a like Mandalore, a Mando specific season, I've heard it's almost universally not liked. The third season, I feel like because people expected it to be like Boba Fett, and it wasn't. And I know there was like some weird random. I saw a clip of it, scene of like Grogu like getting knighted or something. Yeah, that people were like that was cringe as fuck nah. and stupid as shit. Nah, a bunch of babies. So Jack Black and Lizzo were in an episode, and he was knighted because Lizzo likes him. That was it. So I was like, right. yeah, th- that was their cameo episode. Like, All right, so what do you think about this uh, live-action cool. series rankings? Okay. You got Mando Season 1. Uh, sorry, Mando Season 2, mm-hmm. number one, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Andor, Mando Season 1, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Mando Season 2, Book of Boba Fett. I haven't seen... I haven't seen Obi-Wan or Andor, but I feel like I feel like Book of Boba Fett should be higher. What did you say? It was three? It was four? Book of Boba Fett was last. It was last? No, I would... You I liked would, it? I would... On a, cause it, I heard a lot of people were like, didn't like it that much. They can suck a fart out of a butt. Because um, it was like a lot... It was less about Boba Fett and more about... It was about what Boba Fett is affecting around him is the thing. And a lot of people didn't want to, they wanted to see yeah. Boba Fett kick ass, but they saw, they saw Tatooine, which was, it's fine, but people were like back to Tatooine again. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's kind of important. Yeah. It's a hub. And the fact that he just takes over a good portion of Tatooine, it doesn't have to necessarily be specifically about him. It's about what he's doing. And it shows, like, the effects of what he's doing, which is a great explanation of, like, why he doesn't show up for the other shows. So that it's a nice touch. That was, uh, that was, uh, that was Andy. <laughs> so follow him on Twitter. Fuck off, Andy. So the camera died. I don't really feel like putting it back up there because we're literally almost done. So, Nick, uh, uh, next week's, uh, go, board games, go. Uh, Carcassonne. Here, I'll just wait for you. Okay. Uh, Carcassonne. That's pretty much it. Probably some more uh, trial by trolley, if I'm allowed to. You know, with everything going on, it, it won't focus on you. Did I fuck this up? Shit, did I press something? You might have. Oh no. Oh wait. There we go. All My right. Eye burns so trial much. by trolley is that what you said? Uh, and Carcassonne. Yeah. Stop saying Carcassonne. <laughs> you that. make me. Um, but yeah, probably those two. That's that's all I'll probably play. To be um, honest. All right, I'm gonna try to play. Uh, I forgot about a microphone. <laughs> yeah, you forgot about the microphone. I'm going to try and play, uh, you know, I'll just put it up there. It's taking too long. <laughs> oh, and this is fun. There you go. Uh, all right. Uh, what are you uh, going to play? Uh, uh, what are you going to try know. to play Vil- Star Wars Villainous again? No, I don't know. I don't have anything. Um, you can play Villainous two-player, right? I'm going to buy a new game. What are you going to buy? I don't know. Come on, give me something. <laughs> I had to come up with something. 
So what if it's the same thing I've said? Exit, <laughs> exit. Uh, oh, I'm actually, my mom's coming over tomorrow. Maybe we'll play. Uh, I drop my phone. Uh, oh, no, something fast. Something fast. None of your games, honestly. We got a bunch of fast games. No, you don't. We're gonna play uh uh uh, Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers is a game where you're throwing the dice and passing passing the things back and forth. Okay. Um. Okay. Movies. Uh. The Hannibal. Hannibal and maybe the couple other movies and Snowman. Go. Movies. Um. I'll just leave it on you. <laughs> uh, movies. Uh, what was what, oh, sh- one of the movies you told me? me? Oh, oh, oh! It was for a second. Yeah, you're good. Um, one of the movies you were talking about, the one with um, Snowman. Uh, not Snowman. Uh, the one you were talking about oh, earlier uh, with uh, uh, Tanning Chatham. Uh, and what's her name? Uh, you can do it. You can no, no, don't look it up. You can do it. Haywire. There you go. Probably Haywire. All uh, right. shows. Shows. Uh, South Park. I'm probably not going to pick a new show. Yeah, probably Sam. I'm just going to run through South Park again. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Is that it? That's that four or three? Uh, board game, video games. What video games. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to say it right now. Modern Warfare. Besides Tales of Iron. Uh, oh boy, I don't know. I'm trying to play uh, maybe a new game. Maybe a new game. What are you going to... Ooh, maybe Star Wars Battlefront 2, the story. It's only like four hours. I didn't know how to story. That's the whole reason why I never... It's only like four hours. Story. I never downloaded it. Um, I'm going to play that. Just I'm going to play the story Warfare. of that. Boom. Done. All right. You got a catchphrase or a joke? I don't have a joke. Oh. Nick. Nick. Joke of the Fortnite. <laughs> Go. You got you to gotta have a joke. If you uh, went camping with somebody, just anybody, pick pick any any guy, and um, you woke up and your butt hurt and your pants were off and they were gone... Would you tell? This anybody? isn't a joke. Yes, it is. But would you tell anybody? No. You want to go camping? <laughs> I heard this joke. <laughs> you just. What said are you doing? You're kicking stuff. <laughs> you just said it's not a joke. That's it. All right, Nick. Catchphrase. Uh, I just got the joke. You come up with the catchphrase. You have to have catchphrase every 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 video. What do I do? Everything. That, that's a. I got that's a good catchphrase. No. Why do I do everything? <laughs> there why do I have go. to do everything? All right. Uh, we'll see you next time, guys. That was a lot of, that was a lot of fun. Let's do it again. We'll see you next time, guys. That's supposed to be the whole catchphrase. That was a lot of fun. We'll do it again. See you next time, guys. This is Mark Man signing off. Oh, wait till you're done licking your fucking gross ass finger. You want one? Get away. My thumb is. I haven't touched it. That'd be so gross. (laughs) <laughs> That'll be the blooper. <laughs> you just, just suck on my thumb. <laughs>